Cheers. <laughs> Hello and welcome out to the latest and greatest episode of Gamers Council. <laughs> Richie's over doing spit takes. I like, I, I think I'm tired. It's, I'm like overtired. Like, yeah. giddy, like you know, you get the giggles. I think I got. Were might you, have that. Were you up early hunting Easter eggs? Don't lie. Uh, <laughs> no, I was. Uh, no? I was up late playing oh. DD too. Uh, oh, oh. So yeah, my game is ruining my life. I mean, what? No. Uh, so it's a good game. You like it? It's my game of the year. It is pushed Pal World out, brother. I'm sorry what? to say. What? Yep. Exactly. It's that. <laughs> yeah, it's that good. I love it. I love it so That's much. Good. That's good. What's I'll, up, chat? To, there'll be some updates, and I'll bring you back to the dark side. I mean, just kidding. Yeah, uh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome, everybody, to the show. Uh, I guess we're already like uh, 30 strong. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I'm uh, sure a little later, sure. hopefully a little later, we'll get some more. Uh, we'll get some audience uh, over from um, from the Fonz and Hargeet show. Mm-hmm. That's how I like spell it now. I was kidding. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, no, it's 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 such a good show. And, uh, and of course, we appreciate you guys being here right now. I know some of them, one of them's guys, go, I'm in both chats. Well, that's cool. Well, you can. Yeah, How double you, fisting. Let's go uh, on Easter. <laughs> that sounds yeah. so wrong. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maybe dual boxing, <laughs> dual play, something like that. <laughs> double fisting. Nah, Easter we go right for the throat. <laughs> all right, right, right. Well, uh, pause. All right. Anyway, where are we at? <laughs> to the back of the throat. Oh, hey, we're on right. Gamers Council. Shit. Let's okay. go. Oh, we do have a co- <laughs> we, of course, you know, the show can start because Adidas 20zero is here and he has been yeah. a member for how long? Six months. Let's Six go, months. Adidas. My buddy. Yes. Oh, man. Love that guy. And, and here we go. He sends us super chat with ten dollars. Says Retri, time to do some housekeeping. I'm here. And shout out to Webb and the guest. The guest. Is we'll coming. He he will be here. I, I promise. I'm uh, driving across yeah. town right now. Probably no, to no, coming. no, Diddy. He's coming. No, Diddy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what's up, Jigga? Is, is that uh, what it is? He said, yeah, he said, Jigga, no, Jigga said, no, Diddy. Yeah, he's, yeah, here oh, we go. Okay. You know, that's why I said that. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I got, oh. I got the chat over here. So I got it on a whole, its own screen now. So hopefully I don't, I don't miss too much. Cause usually I got like, I got three, I got three screens going on over here. So there's a lot, a lot to go. look at. You know what? But, we have, yeah. we, we're early right now, right? So, so this is like super early. There's not very many people in, in, in the chat at all yet, right? So guess what I'm going to do? Because I have some giveaway. Oh, nice. Uh, I see you, Joby. I feel like you better you be nice tonight. It's e- it's Easter. <laughs> I see. I see you. You know, popping up, propping up the seller seller yams over there, and and talking some smack on Al oh, Hellblade. I see you. Watch yourself. <laughs> Look what you did. And you can even name off everybody who got one. There you one. go, Web. My buddy here just gifted y'all some memberships. Uh, why? Let's see. Er ranks got one. Uh, back back from the dead got one. Let's see who else. Uh, Ryu got one. Let's go. Jigga got one, and RSJ got one. There we go. Welcome, guys. That's what you get for coming early. Yeah. There you, go. you get prizes. <laughs> and, and, and 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 now you have access to all these cool emojis. So burn them up. Use the hell out of them. And they are right there. There you go. Look at all those emojis. Yeah. Oh, you get all the emojis. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Well, you're welcome, guys. We 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 appreciate you guys being here more than you'll ever know. So, and we do have the you know if you, if you wanted to like um, be a member. Oh, look at that, Sith Lord. Look at that. The, the Sith, man. what's That's going on, brother? Awesome. Yeah, Thanks, propping buddy. us up. Always on the socials, propping us up. So I appreciate that, Sith. Uh, just became a member for another three months. So. Uh, it means a lot when, when people do that. It really does. So, uh, does. so, like, really does. so I can share this out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> while you're, while exactly. You're here. <laughs> because Sith Lord says so. Because li- Sith Lord told you so. And you got to listen right. to Sith. Yeah. That's right. Uh, That's right. Yeah. Spam right, those emojis. So, yeah, so, uh, so it's just it's just two of us starting off. But he'll be here in a minute. Do you want to you want to start yeah. off with uh, what, what games you've been playing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah huh. I think you know. I mean, what if anyone you? watched my podcast yesterday, it became like a 40-minute fucking gush fest of uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. <laughs> Uh, mm-hmm. I love it. I love it so much. It's so much fun. I'm playing an archer right now. I just, 
and my pawn is is uh, is my wife, and she's a mage, and uh, she's she's doing great. She's helping me out. Um, so yeah, it's um, I'm having a ton of fun with it. Uh, I don't know what the Metacritic score is. I don't give a shit. It's my game of the year right now. I know a lot of people are playing it. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. If not, I hope you are enjoying whatever games that you are playing. Uh, <laughs> Joby, hey Joby, if you keep if you beat you know. You're 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 on the line if you're you know you're if you keep it nice I won't I'm not gonna ban you I'm not gonna ban you unless you turn into a douche on Easter you gotta be nice on East like Easter Christmas that's about it yes Easter and Christmas you can be a dick the rest of the year it's fine <laughs> Dave what have you been playing are you still are you still uh, are you still playing with the Pokemon's oh I mean pals yes I'm playing yes. some Pal World. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did play a little more of the um, uh, uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and what uh, yeah. sucks is, like, my my son's coming over and my daughter's off tomorrow night. I'm off tomorrow night. And we're like, oh, cool. We can. And it's April Fool's Day tomorrow. And we're like, cool. We'll mm -hmm. just sit around. We'll, we'll level. We'll have, we'll have a blast. We'll, you know, sit in the same room and, and play. He plays a lot, a lot of times on his, his Steam Deck. And they've announced that they're going to have um, uh, maintenance. What? Yeah. Main maintenance. Oh, oh like, like maintenance the for the game? Like during yeah. the. Oh, yeah. and I'm like, man. And, it's, and it falls <laughs> right in the of the On a holiday I weekend, bro. I, know. I, know. Oh, I guess they're waiting until after the weekend, but I'm like, I said, April 1st. Maybe it's a joke. And he's like, no, it's, it's, it's like, square. Nah, not it's real. I like this name. I have an inkling. I know who did this, but Xbox Game Pass only bitch. Uh, <laughs> It says, and sometimes PS4, LOL. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy was 2023 Game of the Year, and I haven't seen one Harry Potter movie. Uh, okay, I mean, fair enough. Maybe maybe, maybe they're going to make some more Harry Potter stuff. I don't know, but uh, love that you love Hogwarts Legacy. Definitely in my top two last year, for sure. Uh, very, very fucking good game, man. I love that game so much. Uh uh, yeah, he's talking. For, uh, well, RSJ, why don't you why don't you ask Dave? What you, you know? What I'll uh, I'll see if I can find your thing because she wanted to ask you something about Final Fantasy, and yeah. I didn't know shit about it. Um, where the hell is it? Uh, I gotta find it. Uh, uh, she was saying, could you have? And she might need to elaborate on this. I don't know. Uh, she said, could you ask uh, Web Dave to explain about Final Fantasy fourteen subscription? And ex and expansions. Uh, what what all you get with like what do you get with the expansions? Okay, so if you know, yeah, I, I know some of it. So you, okay. so right now, if you if you start, which I highly recommend to make sure that you like it, is to start off with the free. Now, now there is the code you can download, and if you've already downloaded it, you're kind of locked in. You actually you're can't. you're locked. You're screwed, right? Like out of the free <laughs> pretty, part pretty of it, kind of. Yeah, okay. but, you, but you get a lot of bonus stuff, which is cool. But as far as right. if you just want to try it out and play the free, I wish you could always you know, play it, turn it for, turn it on for a month, play it, and then turn it <laughs> off if you don't like it or, or continue, whatever. Um, but the point is um, you can get, like with the free, you get like a certain expansions up to almost, I think, the last one or the one before that <clears throat> uh, and, and all the content that's available there. And you can level up to uh, level 70, yeah, uh, which so. the level cap right now I think is 100. So, But, but still, that's really good. And that's all for free. And then you can play with I your agree. friends. That uh, is the only good. thing you could do is if they like your say like had somebody that was uh, a level which which uh, level um, caps not level caps but it uh, it adjusts uh, so so like if you know if you you can play with the level one hundred and be level you know two it, it works right just so fine. you're not getting it, kicked in the teeth correct, and the other correct. person like mm -hmm. finds they'll the get middle. their experience yeah. and you'll get your experience uh, but this does seem to that they are still a little bit more uh, souped up <laughs> because they have so many different abilities. That when they unlocked at their character level, then and then you might have at a certain level that you're going after. But still, okay. it's, it's it's fun and fair to play if you're going at a um 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 like a, like say there's a dungeon that's only available in 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 newer newer content, then you couldn't go in there. In other words, you couldn't you know mm. uh, jump into to that particular dungeon because you don't have the expansion for it. Uh, right. but the expansions aren't very expensive. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I highly ever recommend. It's very if you, if you like an RPG that has a, like a lot to it. I mean, from from crafting to farming to just 
and in the lore, of course, the story is really good. Mm. But there's so many side quests and things you can do, and you know, in different job classes. And, and the way they've kind of tweaked it now is that you can pretty much be any job class you want, depending on what equipment you you um, you take. You know, you, you mount up. So it's 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 pretty cool that way that you can kind of switch on the fly. And if you have it like a, if you want to level up certain jobs, and then at certain points, uh, certain jobs will turn into others, uh, kind of thing. So okay. Um, so it's but but it's um it's not bad and it's uh, like I said the free version is a lot of fun to play. Uh, I used to play Final Fantasy XI a lot. <laughs> I liked it. And I it's heard horrible. I heard like yeah, up, if cool. like even up to level seventy you can get like uh somebody was saying like around two hundred hours or more of gameplay before you're hitting oh, yeah. around that level, which is insane value in my in my opinion for for I mean it's a good it's a great idea it's a great idea to get people hooked. I would like to see like more games do something like that, um, especially if it's obviously uh, you're paying for a service. Essentially, it's you know like World of Warcraft in that way. Uh, but I mean, RSJ, look, if you're enjoying it, and mm -hmm. it sounds like you're enjoying it as much as you are, then it sounds like you're the perfect candidate to to get these expansions and to just kind of commit. You know what I mean? So I say, if if you're having a f fun time with it and you want more of it, then go for it, man. Like, who can, yeah, you know? and 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 they like, and they they. Made it to where it ties in with the with the Xbox uh, servers. In other words, uh, I mean, you basically you 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 go into the account like that, but it, it pulls you up to a, like a, a different like a page um, type thing, and then you click on that, and then it loads the game. So so you're able to and like I'm playing. Um, my, my son plays on PC. My daughter plays on PC, and I play mm -hmm. on the Xbox, and we all play together just fine. That's okay. So that's cool. And uh, uh, homeless wanna, bird. I'm sorry. I just want to mention Homeless Bird said he just started a Resident Evil 4 remake. He says it's awesome. He says, I'm late to this, but yeah, that's a great, fantastic game, man. So congrats on on starting that up. Uh, Xbox Game Pass. What is woke? I must have missed something. I don't, is there a woke conversation going on in the chat? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going back up and reading. I don't know. That's all right. I don't know. The whole woke controversy. I'm on like, I feel like... Uh, Jekyll and Hyde on that like sometimes like I roll my eyes a lot on a lot of this stuff and and but I don't like th th but I also want inclusion in games too but like my when I roll my eyes is when I see like Mary Jane becoming more powerful than than Spider-Man that's when I don't like that woke shit that's the stuff that bothers me um other yeah. stuff I don't I don't fucking care about but when it doesn't yeah. fit in a story and it doesn't make sense yeah, that some of the woke stuff does bother me, but I don't fucking know if that company actually put that in the game or if that was uh, Insomniac themselves who wrote that in there. I don't know, but it is. Yeah, it's a it, it, big, big shout out to all. all. There's so many. There's over sixty people in the chat. Welcome everybody. We appreciate you being What's up, here, guys. Uh, it's a quick shout out to just some of you, which I said I know there's a lot more, but we got Big Mad Mo, uh, Timmy, Timmy, uh, let's see, PlayStation <laughs> Five blows. Oh, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, Xbox, uh, Xbox Game Pass only, bitch. All right, cool. That's a that's a new one. That's yeah, fun. I think that might be the same person who made the PS5 ones. <laughs> yeah. You think? <laughs> yeah, I have a good feeling. Pretty sure I know who that is. It's usually oh, the where, same suspect. Where's my buddy Farq? He should be here by now. But yeah, weird. Bit. Where is Farq? He's yeah. suspiciously missing. Uh, uh, my uh, London <laughs> brother, where are you at? Uh, switch I was accounts. On, uh, uh, was the Money Show last week or something, and, and he jumped in the chat and said something. And uh, and he he in his chat. He goes, "Come on, Dave, you got you got to say it." So, so yeah. I, on, on their show, I was like, you know, I called him Fark out. You. He loved it. Fark you, Fark you, buddy. Yeah, Fark you. he does. He's not here. We talked about him. That's yeah, respect. exactly. Mad respect. Yeah. Uh, are you saying no is sweet baby oh, ink like i don't I, I don't i don't actually know for a fact if it was sweet i know i know they worked on it but i don't know if if the mary jane thing uh i don't know maybe you know john uh john john bond zombie love that name i don't know if it was actually them but i don't like it that's that's my two cents uh, uh and uh, and hargy uh, is the co-host with fawns now on his show not just a guest he is actually the co-host with the most host there on that show so that's pretty cool uh, like I said, yeah. love Fonz. Would love to have him on here. So someday we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna trick him and be like, oh come on, you can go another hour. <laughs> yeah, we'll fool you, Fonz. We'll, we'll get you on here. We'll get you on. Yeah. So, yeah, I would love to but, uh, maybe a collab, maybe something we can do something in the future with Fonz if he if he's uh if he's willing to do that. That's cool. 
Uh, yeah, so many great Foz. members of the community. And Laura, let's tell 65 people here. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us. We, we appreciate you. So, uh, Retri, we'll, so you want to go ahead and just jump into a first topic? We do have a guest coming, um, yeah. but he is driving right now from work he, uh, to he home. He is. He's yeah. a working man. Drive and, slowly. Uh, Don't want you to get an accident for us. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I can. I got some like little, uh, little news pieces here, like kind of quick stuff. Uh, one of the things is uh, FSR three and frame generation um, could hit Xbox Series X this year, uh, and maybe debut in Indiana Jones as the first possible game for SF, uh, FSR three. Um, it says Indiana Jones and the Great Circle for Machine Games and Bethesda is a PC and Xbox exclusive, and there's a good chance it will support FSR on both. So AMD, which they just announced, uh, F FSR 3.1, which brings a couple of significant updates to the companies. It's an upscaling and frame generation technology for PC, um, image quality improvements when upscaling and decoupling frame generation so it can run with other upscaling technologies like uh, NVIDIA's DLSS uh, or other technologies like the one that uh, Microsoft is making. So it's more, you know, cool technologies that uh, AMD and, you know, NVIDIA and we know Microsoft is working on <clears throat> Um, some code to make it easier for developers as well, kind of one code to rule them all that will allow uh, developers to not have to code separately for FS FSR and separately for DLSS and for Intel's one that I can never remember the name of it, whatever the hell their technology is. Right. Um, but, I mean, it's cool. So hopefully it's another thing that, it, you know, another improvement for stuff like the Series X and even the S, that we're going to see. So hopefully, these these uh, developers will take advantage of these technologies because Lord no, we know they haven't. That's for damn sure. There's, right. We know they have not been you know using everything in our DNA and all these technologies that are inside the box. So hopefully, uh, they will actually do that. I mean, that's why Microsoft's doing what they're doing. With ma just making it easy for every dev for for you know for the code on the coding side, so they. So they don't have to do that stuff. They just put in one code and it covers all the bases. But uh, we'll see. So it's exciting to hear about FSR three possibly um, coming to the system this year, uh, which it sounds like it should. Um, yeah. Square Enix, uh, Yoshi P uh, hints that Final Fantasy sixteen uh, could come to Xbox after the Windows PC version is done. Cool. I mean, I'm d I'm down for that. I actually, I, I want to try 16 out. I want to try like the latest and greatest Final Fantasy. So more games coming to Xbox is good. Um, I hope this is true. I hope, you know, what, what he's saying or what he's maybe alluding to is actually going to come to fruition because we definitely want to see a better relationship between Microsoft and Square. And I know you're all, all about this, Dave, because you're obviously a Final Fantasy fan. So mm -hmm. this is good news. Yeah. Oh yeah, all the way across the board. Anything that can that can you know raise the bar and bring up uh, to, to bring the level of gaming uh, higher and to more accessible to to more devs, uh, getting uh, you know getting uh, able to bring the potential they want to their games out is pretty awesome. So I'm I'm excited mm -hmm. for that. And uh, and he's here now, so I got to say it now. He's here. Ready. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, you mother. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and he also I joined love his avatar. I don't know what it is. I'm so easily entertained. It's what it is. Uh, <laughs> thank you for becoming a member again, Fuck you. Uh, appreciate you, buddy. And all oh. your other personalities are all funny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what, uh, uh, um, Retri, that's, uh, yes, that's, that's cool about this is... Uh, um, all right, so so we we talk about raising the bar in gaming with uh, you know with the innovations and in, in, in the technology and stuff like that. So yeah. um, I mean, and like Sarah Bond's comments uh, saying that basically that you know that whatever next gen is coming is like is going to be like a huge leap. The technology, huge technological leap. leap. So, yeah, you know, in your mind, um, wh what does that mean to you? What what is what do you, what are your speculations? Yeah, that could, that could that could come up to 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 be that way, to make it. Uh, it's tough now because of 
I had an idea that was stuck in my head. I thought it was all brilliant. I thought it was AI based. I thought I thought they were going to have, you know, maybe work in tam tandem with like Intel or whoever to have AI built into the chips themselves. Uh, kind, kind of similar to a lot of stuff that like Apple does. Um, so I, but then the whole handheld thing came out, but she, I, I'm trying to remember the quote. I think she was talking about technology, which mm -hmm. leads me to believe it is an AI, you know, it's, it's an AI based hybrid machine essentially. And if that's the case, then there'll be all the kind of like FSR and a lot of things that we talked about, I think are going to just happen automatically. So the devs don't have to do these things and, and put in too much coding. They'll just make their game and the technologies will up res these games automatically mm -hmm. up resin is not going away. I think it's a smart move. It's, it's a very smart move. I think for a console to who cares? No one, no one. I'm an, I was an engineer. I was a pixel beeper. It was literally my job. No one can tell the difference between upscaled 4k and native 4k. I dare you to try. Um, so <laughs> it, it try, you know, keep it with the, with the upscaling technologies that'll, you know, allow you to get better frame rates. I'm all for that. I want the frames. You know what I mean? I'm all about the frames. So I'm hoping that it's an AI, you know, based handheld. The other side is, is the confusion came in for me when Phil, after last week, when we talked, me and Hargy were touting we, the next Xbox handheld should have Steam, should have other storefronts. And 48 hours later, uh, we got the interview from Polygon with, with, uh, with Phil saying that he want that's what he wants. That's the vision he would like to see in the future. The vision we've been talking about for years that we just never thought would ever happen because it just seemed so outlandish for there to be an everything box. Mm -hmm. uh, now I wonder, was she talking about that or was she talking about the technology? You know what I mean? When it comes to like GPU, CPU, was she, she was talking about technology or was she talking about a leap in like, uh, and how we perceive g like gaming as a whole, because that's if that were to happen, right? That's that's a huge barrier that is lifted to literally be able to say you can play any game uh, on an Xbox device, whether it's the handheld or uh, Series X X or whatever the fuck they're gonna, whatever bad name they're going to come out with for the next one. Right? Uh, I I don't know. But uh, and I'll push that. I'll push that after I get this uh, super chat back to you, Dave. Like, what 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 do you think that means uh, from Sarah? Uh, Andrew Doyle with the five dollars says playing Diablo four via PC Game Pass and Banishers Ghost of New Eden via GeForce Now. There you go. Um, next Xbox PC hybrid use AI to make the hardware evolve more. Agreed. Uh, great great pickup on the Banishers too, man. I'm I'm seeing a lot of people really like that game. And uh, glad you're playing Diablo, brother. Uh, great, great game. If you like grinding too, which apparently I do. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Pause. Yeah, guy. So, so wait. One, one comment you made earlier. You said that the game you were playing Diablo two, and you have your wife as a pawn. Oh, Dragon Dragon's Dogma two. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry. So if you don't know, and I didn't know this, I didn't know anything about Dragon's Dogma. I came in there not knowing crap. I w had no clue if I was going to like this game. I just got it based off of uh, the hype. Um, right. So you can, you have your own main character and then there's pawns. You have a main pawn that you can control and another two pawns. So you go in and actually you create your own character and you create the pawn that follows you around helping you out basically oh, okay uh, she's she's yeah so i'm like an archer and if you're playing dragon's dogma too everyone needs a mage whether you make your main pawn a mage or your side pawns a mage i call them side pawns because you can't control them you can't really control what they look like uh but one of the one of the nice things about dragon's dogma is you can hire your friends pawns. So if you become friends with them on Xbox or Steam or whatever, and you have like their IDs, you can literally hire the people that they made in their game, which is a, a fantastic feature and it's a ton of fun. Um, so other people can uh, make their guys really powerful and they could be 40 levels ahead of you. And then you can get your friend's pawn that will destroy everything in your path. 
like just like help that. you out tremendously. Yeah, it's a fantastic system. Like I, I don't, I don't know how I missed Dragon's Dogma one. Uh, it was never on my radar, but man, like I love the pawn system in Dragon's Dogma. It's a lot of fun, and it sounds like it really does sound like something I think you would like, Dave, uh, since you're a Final Fantasy fan. Because a lot I'm, of stuff I'm, you were saying, yeah, was reminding me of Dragon's Dogma, like all the different things mm. that you can do. So uh, there's a comment maybe, there for you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Retri, what's your Xbox gamer tag? I want to add you, uh, add your pawns. I'm on Steam, brother, for this one. I try, I want it. Uh, yeah, so you can't, you can't use mine. It's not cross. It was one of the first things I, I asked, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I, I paid. I know. I felt, I know, you know, I almost kind of regretted it because a lot of the people I know are playing on Xbox and I can't use any of their pawns. The only people I got uh, was Demo Flow and uh, Pixel Bit G. A pixel bit G, you need to play this game more. I need you to up your stats on your guy, by the way. Uh, but de demo flows guy. Well, uh, I, I, I think we've it. also reached a time where where Joby is is clearly clearly uh, called out. He's he's totally a totally a fanboy. I um, tried Joby. Yeah. I tried on Easter Sunday. I tr uh, I tried to let you skate by, brother, but yeah. it looks like you done fucked up. And maybe crossed the line. So we're gonna have to snipe you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, dude. Um, I'm sorry, not sorry. Is, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Get him out of here! <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness. Spark you. Well, like, yeah, I was going to say, well, Spark you do the honors, and he did. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, Spark you. We'll, we'll give you permission, like Spark you. Yeah. We'll be like, he says, and, and then you, he throws back in, I'm an Xbox guy. Well, you sure as fuck don't sound like one. You can Throw be the balls. executioner. See you, buddy. I'm fine. Like, look, look, we all have different. We all have different opinions. Like, I'm fine yep. with criticism of Xbox. We of did course. some of it last night on our show on not a lot of things, but some small things that we criticize them about, uh, and that's fine. But if you're just gonna spam, and, and, you know, there's a difference between like constructive criticism and just um, being a douche nuggy. And we don't want to do that. Here, here you go. Here you go. Settle down. You guys are in my DM. <laughs> King, what will we do? We will hold the line. Oh. And that's what we like to do here because we're not <laughs> flip floppers. I'm not going anywhere. Xbox is is my preferred platform. Uh, and like kind of what we said last night is like I said, I don't understand a lot of these flip floppers. We were talking about this yeah. on, on the Aim Down Sites podcast last night. I don't understand them. It's it's literally yep. the best time in Xbox history. What the how, why it, why would you flip now? I don't know. That's <laughs> just that's nice. just me. Green froze for a second. That was perfect with you. <laughs> ah, fuck it, I don't exactly. understand your craziness. I don't I don't get it. And it's and it sucks because oh. a lot of those, you know, the guys who are doing that, I I respect the community, but man, you keep digging that grave and I'm I'm kind of losing respect for you because you won't exactly. shut the fuck up about it. Um you, you, you gotta like take a breather a little bit. I'll <laughs> 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 so, uh, read that uh, comment. Uh, that Sappho good. says I'm fine with valid criticism, uh not media tropes, blatant lies and unadulterated delusion yeah there's a lot of delusion exactly. out there it's exactly. it's odd when when microsoft has is making you might not like their decisions but they're more they're making more money than they ever ever have in the xbox division they've mm -hmm. surpassed if you told me they were going to surpass windows five years ago i would have laughed in your fucking face there's no way i, I would have lost that bet dave 100 percent. i would have been like all right there's no way they're passing that there yeah, you they go. did. It happened. Like it's profitable. It's fine. The world is not burning down. Yes, they are sharing some games. Will they share some more games? Yes, I'm sh probably. Uh, maybe I don't know. Like maybe <laughs> we are hearing that they're not being successful on PS5, so maybe they won't. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. But that's up for them to decide. Uh, Retro, I'm gonna th throw a lob at you. So we got like 93 yeah. people in the chat, which is awesome. Let's go. And up, and our guest. Is, is running a few minutes late, but he'll be here. I, I have I have all faith in him. He's not gonna stand us up twice. I'm just kidding. He didn't stand us up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He didn't yeah. stand us up the last time. The last time he, it was a legitimate. He actually got the delayed almost an hour, but he did join us, and I'm sure he will join us uh, today because he, 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 he I did double check with him, and he, he was like, you know, yeah. I said so Easter Sunday, you're good, and he was like, you know, thumbs up. So there we go. Uh, but anyway, but he, he'll be here a little bit, and, and it's all good. Uh, look, he's it, one of those uh, people in the community, uh, Gamey Forte, who, who I value his opinion highly because he's a GameStop manager, and he is, you know, right then in, in there, in the, and he definitely 
uh, will, uh, you know, shoot, shoot down the middle, you know, because he sees both sides. And sometimes, yeah, I, he can, I, I, he can I, uncover I things that uh, from a from a level of, of retail that you're not going to hear from that fanboys we won't and we won't know yeah he's seeing it from from the from the ground and i know a lot of people you know like see forte as a playstation guy I, I don't fucking care if you see that the thing is we i like to bring people on this show that i think are logical and i think forte like you said is like down the middle i think he's very mm -hmm. a logical dude like i whether you agree with him or not, uh, I, I think Forte has a lot of uh, good opinions uh, when it comes to the gaming space. So, did you uh, see who's in our chat? Below. Who's in our? Who's in who? Dut Dut Grigody. Dut. What's up, brother? Dut. Did you got chapters? Dut. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dirt, welcome, Dirt. You are the man What's for up, sure. Brother? And in case you're wondering, I One am one of our dropping. favorites. I'm dropping the link into the show. So if there's anybody out there that wants to join us tonight, yeah. feel free. It's the every say Retro's Easter edition. If you want to talk shit with us on, on this holiday edition of Easter Sunday, come on down. Yeah. We have two super uh, chats too. Watch to read those out. All right. Andrew Doyle with two dollars says PS5 is only 5.4, um, I guess a million units uh, more than Xbox. Xbox sells. Is that, I think that's, are you talking, that's US, right? That you're talking about? Not worldwide, <laughs> I think, I think is what Andrew was saying. I'm not quite sure anymore. I don't know. Look, uh, I heard, funny. we heard rumors that there was 50 million out there and I heard 35 million have only been turned on. I don't know if this, if that's true. I didn't look too far into it, but that's fucking funny if that's actually the case because it changes the story quite a bit. It Andrew Doyle with the two dollars says, "Happy Easter, guys!" By the way, Happy Easter to you, Andrew. Uh, absolutely, Happy and Easter to another those one. people who celebrate it. Uh, another two dollars. Uh, Xbox PC hybrid having Steam and Epic is awesome. Absolutely, like who wouldn't want that? That's that's what I'm saying. Uh, oh, for real, for real. It's, and this was actually kind of funny. Fark you. <laughs> yeah. Good point. <laughs> I don't trust Forte. <laughs> He's sold a PS5. I'm joining him, of course. He's a good dude. Yeah. He is a good That's dude. That's right. Yeah. But he did. Yeah. Dirt, dirt, will, dirt will tell you. He's, he owns a PlayStation 5, and it's all Forte's oh, because, fault. All because of Forte. <laughs> uh, yeah. But but for but for Dirt, you know, that uh, it was research. You know, <laughs> he, he, he you know, needed to know when you when you have a, a, a Xbox centric show, you got to know what the competition is doing. The best way. To, I, you know, I mean, it is it is it is kind of true. Uh, mm -hmm. Mine is basically a piece of furniture that's collecting dust right now, um, and I don't see that to be. I just, I it's time, dude. Like Game Pass is so good, and you know, the uh, other games that are coming to Xbox are so good and are taking up so much of my time. I don't have to go play playstation games i'll just wait till they're on sale like most playstation guys i'll just wait for their sale yeah so because yeah y'all ain't buying shit anyways let's be honest so it's all good um, that's funny apparently they're not buying xbox games either <laughs> i know yeah I get, uh, yeah they just you know they it's weird because it was it was on their um on the list of like uh, before they came out, like mm -hmm. it looked like they were going to sell, but, uh, looks like that's just not the case, which is, it's just odd if they're, if they're actually selling like shit, but pre-orders and everything for them were the highest. That means everything else is selling like absolute dog shit. If you, if you, yep. you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yep. if the Xbox games were number one, what the fuck are the other ones doing? Just kind of like, you know, uh, Horizon for Forbidden West being number 58 on Steam. That's what happens when you go against Dragon's Dogma. So what, uh, what, did, what, did, what does Adele say there? Let's see. Abdel says, so if this is about competition, hit the button. So if this is about competition, <laughs> uh, let us have competition. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you know, there's some interesting times coming our way. Mm -hmm. Dave, I just I just don't know if people are going to be able to stomach it. I think there's a lot of Xbox guys who who uh, who can't handle what, what's what's happening in, in the sharing sharing of games. Um, I, don't I, know. I, I mean, we had <laughs> right. That's uh, one of the things we can definitely kind of tell it is is the day that Tim Dog went to the dark side. We had him on as a guest. <laughs> It was the it was the, we that were was, the we were the catalyst for Tim losing his fucking shit live. Yep. Uh, 
Yep. You know, lo- so and lo- that was, and yeah. this episode's still up. If you want to watch it? It's it's over almost twenty thousand views. So we appreciate that. Yeah. So, but uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a good episode. We even had Parasilly jump on. Hargate was on. Yep. Um, you and me were on. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. It was it was Paris, it was. How's uh, that uh, L yeah. on this? Oh, and, on this and, and Mr. Boomstick was on too. <laughs> Mr. Boomstick was on too. So Boom that was, was there. Yeah, that's right. So that was. That was an amazing, amazing show. Uh, this is going to be a good one, too. We have over 110 people in the chat. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm going to put this out yep. again. All right, so so explain to people what they can do when I put this link in the, in the chat there. Yeah, if you guys want to if you guys want to join us tonight, come on. You know, you do not need a camera. You nope. just need either a phone or a mic or something. If you guys want to hop in here and talk, you know, some games with us and talk about what we're, we're talking about tonight, we'll be talking about, um, let's see what we'll be talking about. We'll be talking about the Xbox handheld, obviously, um, like what uh, could be coming for Xbox's hardware. We'll be talking about devs basically saying PS5 Pro upgrade is, is uh, unnecessary. Uh, we'll be talking about uh relic and other studios uh going independent uh which is which is pretty cool we'll be talking mm-hmm. about uh, uh marvel's uh, rivals I, I sent you the link to that to yep. uh, maybe we can play the trailer i, I think it'll be oh, okay yeah. i don't know i don't yeah. think there's any if it's music not, we'll on there that later <laughs> yeah which, yeah exactly yeah right this is the live portion we'll exactly uh, yeah. uh, and, and we will also speculate <laughs> About what was in Adele's and Adidas and Farq's Easter basket. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, mm. there'll be some speculation going on. Speculation. Did, you, did you get the Did you get the white chocolate bunny or the uh, brown chocolate bunny? Uh, we'll never know, but let us know. Reese, uh, Reese's. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's all it's all about the Reese's man. Uh, Her Cadbury is pretty good. Yeah, man, dude, I haven't had a Cadbury. Holy shit, I haven't had one of the a Cad, Cadbury, Cadbury as we say, Cadbury. Sale. Cadbury egg in a long time. Well, you um, make sure you hit your Kroger tomorrow. Everything yeah. will be fifty percent off. <laughs> That's well, they're not this out. Good point. It's the same thing I do after uh, Halloween. I'm like, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm not even a big candy person, but I could stock up on that shit and eat it for years. So we're good. Um, so yeah, if you guys, if you guys uh, want to join us. Don't be afraid. We don't bite, um, except when you say too much stupid shit, and then then we'll then we boot you out of the room. That's oh, happened to Jovi. So <laughs> yeah, but but, 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 but be on the show. We're you know we're cool. Come on, if you want to talk to us, yeah. And, don't be uh, don't be know. scared. I know, but but it, but and, and it's the thing. It is. He, oh, here we go. Let's see. It is uh, Easter Sunday, so so there's people doing things. But we're glad that you're here. We're going to talk gaming because you know. We're 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 excited about the gaming in the future, and so many great things coming. On. Well, yeah, yeah, there you go, a, a, a homeless a homeless bird. He was he was on before, and you're more welcome That's to true. jump on again if you want. And they don't bite. Yeah, yeah, Richard, yeah nibble. very true. I, I I nibble a little bit. Ask my wife. Pause. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> She, D- 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 Dave, uh, she deals with this every day, so uh, she knows. She knows she's what's a up. Brave she woman. Yo, she's a, she, actually, she's a pretty amazing she's, woman. Yeah. She's uh, like a kamikaze. Uh, yo, she's jumping on all kinds of grenades and shit. She, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, that that and uh, and and and, 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 and your, in real life, your per- exactly. Shout out to your wife because I mean, she's uh, she, yeah. she she graduated and got her. She's been working yeah, hard. She got the her, masters. Yeah. So you know, congratulations. She's a smart cookie. Yeah, which exactly. is why I don't understand why she married me. So it's still, still you know, I said that one out. My wife. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you're, you're, you're street smart, but yeah, <laughs> like, don't push it. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes, I dear. always ask her. I'm like, why are you still here? Like, what are you doing? How are you, how are you putting up with this every day? Uh, because shout you're out to awesome, everybody dude. here tonight. I, I, that's that's what she says too. But I don't believe her. Uh, shout out I to the 113 people here. Uh, you guys are awesome. Um, oh, we didn't. So we're not doing the um, uh, out to Twitter right now. So our numbers are matching with that. So we were correct on that day. We did figure yep. out that whole, no, that whole mystery. Uh, yeah. Anonymous boss with the five dollars says, um, yo, guys, salute to all 100 has retroly played Halo 3 ODST. Of course, I think Microsoft is missing out on remaking some of their older IPs and would generate good cash. That's a very that's a good point that, that I could see. Yeah, some some older Halo remakes uh, seem like seem like an obvious thing when you say it out loud. Really, um, yes, I have I have played all the Halos, uh, all the Halos. So yeah, that was. Uh, I mean, honestly, that's why 
I bought an Xbox. It was for Halo. So, all right. We have a, oh, we have a guest. Go. Let's go. Hello, mm-hmm. hello. Hey, can y'all hear me? We can. We, we can. What you, what's all going right. on, brother? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm pretty much wrapped at the uh, battle pass for COD yesterday. Oh, so, nice. nice. Okay. Yeah, that shit was long. They have a double XP weekend going on right now for uh, oh. for the battle pass, the weapons, and the, um, uh, what's it called? The uh, rankings. I'm like level 230. Jesus. Dude, awesome. I gotta, yeah. I gotta hop back on COD. I haven't played it. it it's God in like a month and a half. And I'm, uh, I gotta get, I gotta get back on it, man. Is that, yeah. is that your shooter of choice general? Uh, yeah, mainly. Cause I mean, there's barely anyone on a Titanfall and, uh, <laughs> it's just, yeah, good point. And, poor, uh, Titan, poor Titanfall. And, uh, also sometimes play Halo, uh, infinite. But I also still yeah. got, uh, and, but yeah, Rise and Run. That game looks like fucking God of War three on PS three. Oh my uh, god, dude! I, I got to tell you though, I was looking forward to that game. I, I I swear they duped us. Like the first showing in that game, I thought looked good, and then I saw the actual gameplay, and I was like, whoa, this is not the game I saw earlier, man. This I feel like, I feel like I've been tricked. Uh, yeah. I don't think it looks that good. Like, and it sucks because I I like I like you know Team Ninja. I like. I like the studio, but yep. it is what it is, man. Like they are, they were out here like, talking all kinds of shit about about Starfield, and I guys are Ronan ain't doing so hot. Yeah, that's what? another game I need to get back to. Uh, Starfield, I gotta get back to that. I also gotta resume God of War Ragnarok. Uh, start Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I mean, I got so many. I'm still any so got so many. I'm still flooded with games. And I still got a, uh, and then I got a Stellar Blade and Sandland next month. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I saw that game. It looks that one's looks interesting. Um, I don't know anything about it, but I saw the game. Uh, what was it trailer or something? It looks pretty damn cool. Uh, let's see, FarQ saying or Retri, I've been playing uh, Halo Two online via the replacement Xbox Live called Insignia. Works really well. Okay, cool. Halo yeah, too. Sure. Damn, man. I haven't whew, I haven't played that in forever. That was my jam back in the day, though. Those dual guns. Yep. Dual SMGs. Yeah, did, yes, please. Oh, yeah, I didn't shit. get Xbox Live till 2014 when I uh because I yeah, I didn't have like let's just say when I live I lived in um we when my uh older brother bought the uh OG Xbox in 2003. Mm-hmm. We, did, we did not let's just say our internet was ass and because I live <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I live in Central Illinois. And uh, mm. we only had Indicator. We had a bunch of uh, Indicator had a bunch of dial up. Oh yeah. And then once I uh, moved to Springfield, um, the red let's just say the red like we me and my brother since we had a lot of uh ga- games on PS2 and PS1 and the backwards cable PS3 came out. And we bought it in 2007. We ended up selling on PS3 on PS3 for that generation. Hmm. And then I got myself an Xbox One in uh, 2014 because yeah, I did not want to pay an extra hundred bucks for that Connect. Yeah, uh, I don't blame and, you for that one. And yeah, even then, my internet was still ass because AT and T used to just slow down uh, speeds for downloading. Throttle you. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I wonder if they're still doing that shit. I don't know if they're even allowed to anymore, but. Yeah, the throttling was super annoying. Yeah, I don't, I don't miss the days when they, when, when, when you're, uh, <laughs> when you had a connected internet and it went squee, like, and you're like, "Mom, get off the phone." Yeah, I don't miss those days at all. Um, I'm, I'm glad we're living, uh, you know, in, in these, in these times for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. T-Mobile is a godsend. I mean, I can. <laughs> oh yeah, fifty bucks. Yeah, 50 my buddy's got that too. Oh uh, yeah, fifty bucks a month. Don't have to pay over three hundred bucks for AT and T, and now also an extra hundred. When they said you went over when trying to stream a movie, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. T-Mobile, that's a that's a damn good option for that price point. <laughs> really good. I live, that's I live in a rural. I live in a rural area between Springfield and Rochester here in Central mm-hmm. Illinois. So pretty much it was either AT and T and Comcast doesn't even come to here. Uh, mm-hmm. So I tried said I'm sticking with T-Mobile, but uh, like uh, downloading Game Pass games because I still got to play Evil West. Uh, it's a good game, man. I think nice. you, I think you guys would like it. Yeah. 
like my brother, he's playing City Skylines and he's still trying to beat that one uh, boss in Code Vein. Mm, yeah. Uh, uh, General, let me let me ask you a question while 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 we got you here. What what's your two cents about like an Xbox handheld? Uh, is that something you want to see? And, and and on top of that too, with the whole handheld discussion, is are you do you care about a possible piece of Xbox hardware having Steam and and uh, PC storefronts on it? Does that interest you? Oh yeah, because I I wish I had the room to actually have a PC, having a Steam and and a Epic Game Store front. I mean, you would be able to play all those games from Riot Games on your Xbox. I mm-hmm. mean, you, I mean, imagine having uh, your Xbox and you're playing Valorant or you're playing League of Legends or Epic Game Store. You can even get to play some of those PlayStation games unless Sony decides to block them. But right now, right. They, unless because of the fact that Sony doesn't have the money to be blocking anything, they uh, can't. Because mm-hmm. right now, Sony's so broke that they probably couldn't even afford a spam sandwich and beans. <laughs> That's a take, General. <laughs> That's yeah, how real. you really feel. <laughs> What's up? Is it solo up in here? I think it is. That is. It is. Color. And since up, I brother? cut my hair, I have to change my. I had to change back to my old profile picture. Oh, okay. Is that what's going on? I see. Well, hey, you got to you got to go to the barber. You got to get that cut. So I'm sure it's looking real fly. Uh, what's going on, brother? How you doing? Uh, just <laughs> chilling right now, man. I'm not doing a whole lot other than you know getting ready to eat dinner. Wife keeps uh, uh what is it called? Uh, she keeps uh gaslighting me. <laughs> Dinner's ready. I'll go out there and she's like, Wait, oh, what hold time on a is it where minutes. you are, Sola? What's up? What time is it where you are? Oh, it's about seven o'clock. Oh, yeah, okay. It's seven All o'clock right. here too. Central Standard Time. Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. I was just checking. Yeah, I was yeah, like, Damn, yeah. You, the you Lord's time. Lord's time. Late. Lord's time. The Lord's <laughs> time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Lotus East Beer with the ten dollars super sticker again. Lotus, you got to say something, man. Like I appreciate the super sticker, but I feel bad. Like just say hi. How you but doing? We appreciate that more than I you know. I appreciate so. you, man. Yeah, and uh, Lotus is. You know what's, uh, you know what's weird is I can see. Appreciate that. Yeah, like the sticker doesn't show up like through here but i see it on yeah on yeah, YouTube it itself, on so. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But a appreciate you Lotus. <laughs> yeah there you go that's a bald dude so yeah it kind of does look like me um uh, solo solo while we got you here man uh what's your take on the whole xbox handheld and what's your take on phil talking about um these pc storefronts possibly going to the next piece of xbox hardware um when it comes to the handheld i think it kind of goes without saying that that'd be dope but it's access that matters in this situation mm. and for me um if i had a handheld that had all my console games on it mm-hmm. then i would have had no reason to bring my um steam deck and series s to pax with me last week that's a good point i would have just been able to just bring the handheld with a dock right ideally yeah. yeah that's that's ideally what i've been looking for from xbox when it comes to being mobile i don't really care to have a cloud device that I can play I, everywhere i, I mean agree. that's it's cool you know but it's not it's a nice ad, like adage but it like it's right. nice to have like an extra but the idea of just being able to dock up my Steam Deck and plug it in with, you know, uh, HDMI anywhere at any TV, at any hotel, and all I need to do is log on to the Internet. I mean, that kind of is that's a closed case right there. You know, yep. forget first 48. We figured that out in an hour. Right. Mm. So like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like uh, so that's what I'm kind of looking for with that. But it, it seems like the way that Xbox is kind of moving, I'm unsure about how that would really be implemented as much as they're talking about the possibility of getting you know steam onto a console or onto Mm -hmm. their own hardware or something like that um maybe maybe in just hear me out for a second maybe let's go they think about having the console portion of the xbox series s and x and prior be the last bit of console 
ports only and anything after the series s and x is strictly just a pc port hmm. you get okay. your you get game pass then through steam in which you use xbox hardware to play i see what you're saying it sounds confusing right but it's a it great does. way for because steam really likes xbox game pass like no cap they do yeah right and um and and, and they definitely like working like like gabe likes working with phil phil likes working with gabe yes and if they can find a way to make more money together you bet your bottom dollar they're gonna do it and if they could ease the work off of both sides bet your bottom dollar they'll do it because that's less having to hire more people for either side Mm -hmm. right so um so if they can somehow have an easy way to get out something into a publishing hand which that you know xbox would be publishing it for steam and then game pass is running everything off of there but that's also powered by microsoft it's just like yo you can Hmm. really have a mad crazy storefront right there and just have then all your games running through steam and then if you want to use what would then be considered backwards compatibility it'd be your series x and your series s games and prior so your xbox one games your original xbox games your 360 games all of that would just be backwards compatible then and steam would be then the platform that you would use everything and play everything on and download from that's correct. So, I mean, that very, would be this is a my, very different answer that I expect. <laughs> like, that would be my ideal this. handheld console from mm-hmm. Xbox if they are looking to push <laughs> further, um, to, to, to per- push further forward into a third party dash first party hybrid platform. Mm. Yeah. I mean, uh, I see. Uh, I was uh, sorry. I was just reading what Jason was saying. He said uh, Game Pass going into Steam was a rumor started two years ago. It has more smoke than Steam on Xbox. Uh, but d- does it? Because the CEO just said it. Uh, like Phil just said it. Like does what really? Like <laughs> you're taking a rumor. You're giving more uh, benefit to a rumor over Phil saying it. I don't know. I have to disagree with that that take personally but uh uh, look i mean either either way it it, i i absolutely agree with with solo saying both of these guys i if if there's money to be made they're gonna they're gonna try to work together again they're gonna try to do it and we know epic is definitely willing to do that because they're already going back onto apple and google stores even though apple is still being an a-hole with with the whole storefront thing um with the whole 30 percent and all that bullshit um, hey retry yeah go ahead people don't remember how microsoft thinks playstation looks at microsoft as an enemy microsoft looks at playstation as a paycheck just yeah. like <laughs> just, yeah. just like microsoft True. just like apple looked at microsoft as an enemy and then figured out oh crap microsoft is getting a check from us oh crap yep. they got mm-hmm. word on our platform now like, yeah, think about absolutely. that. Look, look, look how Microsoft pulled Apple from the dirt when they fell yep. in it. They were and dead. the same thing is happening right now with Microsoft and Sony. Sony fell into some dirt, and mm-hmm. Microsoft's like, oh, yeah, we know you kicked us while we were down, but let's give you a hand real quick and kind of finesse you, essentially. Mm-hmm. Because They're... putting games onto their platform is, ad- is free advertising for Microsoft. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. whether you like, like it as a fan or not, right? Microsoft is getting that bread. Mm-hmm. I, I think a lot. I think like a lot of the argument though, solo is like, is the juice worth the squeeze? Like, because now we're seeing stuff like Hi-Fi Rush maybe not selling great on PlayStation. I don't. I have no clue what the fucking numbers are. Where uh, that's just rumors that I'm hearing. So people are like, see, was it worth hurting? the Xbox brand because the one, one thing that Phil did say and clearly those games are over there because Phil doesn't think it's going to hurt the Xbox brand but he did say we're not going to bring games over that he thinks are going to hurt the Xbox brand a lot of Xbox fans disagree w- with ju- just just the four going over there they think that hurt the brand I don't see it that way I think I'm all along the lines of of your thought it's like I no. think 
They just want to be ten cent. <laughs> Xbox is finessing Nintendo. Do you guys not notice that? Yeah. Yeah. They got games on Nintendo and then said, "Hey, y'all want Call of Duty?" Mmm. My <laughs> stomach, it can never get full. Keep giving me money. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a great point, Solo. Like the hardest, the hardest company on the planet in gaming to finesse, and they finessed them. So that's a very solid yep. point, I think that that you just brought up. They I mean, finessed I, I guess, Nvidia just recently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. Sure, Cloud. Mm, give me money mm-hmm. like, you're yeah. like you guys don't understand like this is diabolical what microsoft is doing but y'all keep looking at third place and saying oh you guys will never yeah. catch up y'all yeah. don't understand first place is copying third make that make sense exactly yeah exactly. i mean i love i love all right the points you just said so though. i absolutely agree with you brother uh S- sappho says the journalists and ponies believe rumors before they believe what anyone else thinks even if it's the company themselves saying this yeah i mean we know there's a lot of narratives out there we saw hit pieces by vgc recently game industry.biz we saw chris dring commenting on the article from VGC that was shitting on Microsoft, then double down. Like, why would you, why do you need to do that, Chris? Why the fuck do you have to go out of your way on Twitter to double down on an article from a nut from someone else, mm-hmm. bro? Like they're, they're, they're making more profits than they ever have. But I guess those numbers don't matter. Only console. So, so, uh, sales matter, which is archaic, stupid, and you're going to get left behind while Microsoft makes more and more profits. And, and us as gamers, in my opinion, will benefit from that when they're making more money on mobile and the other platforms that they're on. But that's just my take, and it's a hot one, and not a lot of people like it. But fuck them, it's my take. Um, hey, can I throw something Microsoft out there real quick? is like the police. Everyone wants to hate on them until they got a call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to throw this, I'm gonna throw this out there, guys, that, you know, but about console sales, if Microsoft hits this, just right with a handheld a handheld that doesn't play like game boy advance games or psp games you know but plays the frontline main console games and can make it to where it's mobile yeah and or That's, hybrid and connect to a tv yeah you, you want to talk about console sales That's yeah. why I, I think yeah I, I agree with you dave crazy I think too many people are ignoring the mobile side of this handheld. I think it's not even being talked about because we're console gamers and it makes sense. We're PC or console gamers. We're hardware guys. But this could be another reach into uh, Dia- you know, Diablo, whatever the hell it was called. I can't remember it for their life of me right now. But the Call yeah, of Duty, yeah, the uh, Warzone and all, this, all the yep. mobile stuff that had you know 50 million plus people waiting on that. 50 more people waiting on that mo- on that one mobile game than the entirety of Xbox Game Pass subscribers. Just saying what's, that's what's the it's safe. What's what's the biggest absolute biggest selling console right now in the market selling today? It's the Switch. Right? And what do they do? They sell their frontline games or there. In other words, they took the concept of we have our handheld, we have our main system. And they smashed it together, and they made it work. No matter what, you talk about quality. On a and, real and potato. Exactly. Not but, Series S on an actual potato. <laughs> but man, talk about money making. Crazy, insane. So if now you take a company like Microsoft and the games that we love there, and they can do that with theirs. I'm just saying, the blueprint's already there. <laughs> it, it, Microsoft, there's a reason that they want to do this. Yeah. Money. It's all about money. We have another guest. Jigga J. What's going on, brother? How you doing? What's going on, fellas? We can hear you. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> you sound pretty good. You sound pretty good. Okay. What do you want? Are you on mobile phone? What do you want? Uh, I'm on iPhone. Nice. Okay, there you go. Boom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got an iPhone <laughs> too. <laughs> You're good. Welcome to the show, brother. Uh uh, let's ask, let's ask you like what's what's your whole take on on the handheld and the, the possible you know storefronts coming coming to a, a new Xbox in the future? Is that something you care about? Is that something you like, uh, or is that not for you? Well, I I definitely want the uh, the storefronts on the next console. I think that'd be dope. Um, then PS Five, you know, 
will be basically dead. Or PlayStation will be dead. No PS6. So I'm all about that. <laughs> for the for the handheld, I mean, Phil was saying also that he he wanted to um, get the user experience to be better on you know like the ROG and the Steam Deck. Yes, and he I, did. Yes. And I got a ROG, so and I love it. It's it's a beautiful portal, uh, portable. Um, it's fun to play, but. It's just that experience, man. It's like all these updates and all these check-ins. I just want to like go in there and just see it like my Xbox and play all my games. So if he can do that, I'm good with just keeping my rod. But it will be also dope to have like an Xbox handheld, you know, that's branded, that's just, you know, streamlined and, you know, just easy to use. So I'm all Mm -hmm. about both of those things. Yeah, I mean, I, I that he uh, Jacob brings up a good point. He did he did talk a lot about making the user experiences better everywhere. So like a unified UI for everything, including the Xbox handheld itself, would definitely be the way to go. I know a lot of people, you know, they love their ROG, but at the same time, some of the experience because because it's you know one hundred percent Windows based isn't the best. That's why a lot of people say. Uh, the the stream uh, operating system is great, which is running on Linux, uh, which which is which is fine. Uh, but what's funny to me, I got a lot of clapback uh, when we talked about this, and everyone's like, "Why why would PC guys give up their PCs for uh, for this Xbox handheld? That makes no sense." And I'm scratching my head, going. What the fuck was the Steam Deck then? <laughs> like, I'm not. The thing is, I'm not. I never said you had to give up your five thousand dollar PC, but it's another device. It's a mobile device, and uh, y'all came out in droves to uh, get that to get that Steam Deck. You telling me there wouldn't be an audience for something that does all of that and Game Pass and more? Of course, there's going to be an audience for an everything box because it's never existed before. Outside of PC, outside of an actual PC, we've never had an everything box that is mobile. I think that's a, I think it's a big fucking deal. Like if, if they were to pull it off, that's, that's the big question is, is can Phil pull this, pull this together? But if like Solo said, if there's money to be made, Gabe ain't saying no, you know, uh, Fortnite wants more money. Epic ain't saying no. Nobody's saying no to more money if there's a deal to right. be made. You know, same thing that Hargeet said last week on our show. If you know, I don't need to worry about how the uh, billion dollar company and the trillion dollar company figures this shit out. I just want them to figure it out, which is kind of where I'm at now. And just scratching my head why people would even bother saying they wouldn't want something like this, as long as the experience is good to Jigga's point. I think that's super important. We, I mean, that's what Dave, that's why Dave, you were saying last week, you want something that is easy to use. You don't want to have to hack your system. You don't have to do right. all these like backwards bullshit thing. And I completely agree with you. It's got to be easy. And it's probably why it doesn't exist just yet. They're probably working on that sort of thing and have been for a while. Well, I mean, we yeah. know Jez, Jez said, right? Jez, Jez said that in his last article that, they were working on a handheld, and this is the, wor- the one they're working on is not the one they were working on before. So they've gone through revisions, mm-hmm. as you as you do in, in the in the you know in this industry. So I think it's uh, I think it's interesting it, to say the least. So uh, I got a question too. Go ahead, so the the new Xbox handheld is it going to be just Xbox, or could we access Steam and? Ubisoft Connect and everything on it also too. Have they said that, or is it just no? No, we, we don't know. It's nobody's all rumors clarified. Right now. That's that's what I'm hoping. Um, part of me wonders if there's going to be a handheld and then another device, like because there's a lot of people are talking about like the power argument that Xbox wanted to be number one in power. So some some people believe that there could be an Xbox handheld that is less powerful and an, an entirely different. Uh, base console like the Series X. I don't know if I don't I don't know if I believe that is happening. I'm not sure. You know sure, how they could do that? Oh. Dockable? Make no. it like a by literally making it a PC port. <laughs> to, to going back to solo. That's going right earlier. back to my old point yeah. by literally making it a PC port and this is just so happened 
to be an Xbox handheld, but it's the S version. But now the S is a PC and the X is a stronger PC. That's mm-hmm. all it is. Yeah. That's all it is. And and you don't have to worry about having people say, oh, I have a hard time developing for this because it's just a PC port. You just turn yeah. down the specs yourself. Yeah. I mean, I guess I guess I just took that for granted, assuming what you're saying, Solo. I, I assume that is what was going to happen, but maybe I'm making I was I was leaping to because that's I, what, what everything you said. I just assume that's what they were going to do, but maybe that's leaping too far ahead. Uh, Bounty just became a member for six months. Appreciate you, man. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, let's see. C C meant uh, C. What? Oh, C is a C money. What the fuck? You, you change your name over? C, yeah, I see. I was like, what point. is happening? Yeah. Well, I don't know what's going on. Uh, this must be a joke Matt, on this. Like, is, he trying, uh, is that like a he kind of thing? Yeah. Where you like he hard all the time? <laughs> he hard Maybe. all the time. You now C meant you tough. C meant ah oh, shit. <laughs> Just became a YouTube member. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Congratulations, by the way. If you guys don't know. Uh, what happened to C Money's channel? They went from somewhere, and uh, hopefully I'm not misquoting it too bad. Like around like 12,000 subscribers, up to 20,000 subscribers um, after their PAX East coverage. Yo, yeah. that's what happens. That's what happens when you put in the work. That's what happens when you work hard. So congratulations to you and Doodle Man. Well deserved. Uh, you know, you're you're some of our favorites in this community. Um, so congrats on that front. And they'll be here soon, right, Dave? They're coming um. on. Could possibly be soon. next weekend or the weekend after yeah. they will be our guest, both of them. Yeah, the absolutely. Money and Doodle Show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah it's they also couldn't deal. be on today because it was Easter. <laughs> that's, that's, right. So, that's right. Yeah. yeah limitations yeah. on the holiday weekend, but that's all right. That's okay. And and as far as we know... <laughs> Forte, you're going to owe us again, brother. <laughs> no, 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 no. Forte's Forte's going to be uh, Forte's going to be joining us soon. So, uh so but we appreciate the Ham Solo in general and Jiggy J definitely jumping on with us today too. So, so we're not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. I'm just I just want to make sure I get some some thank yous out there. We definitely appreciate that. I know I am so he's got some he's got some dinner cooking, but uh, it's not quite ready yet. I, so. Actually, my wife <laughs> literally brought me dinner which I didn't expect. Oh, uh, because the kids are playing out in the front room and stuff like that. So uh, I, I assume she didn't expect me to want and sit in front of all that noise. <laughs> so she just brought That's me the dinner and the I assume she probably right there. Yep. I assume she probably went to the bedroom to go <laughs> watch her own TV show in silence. So. That's what mine's doing. <laughs> In the other room watching some shows. I'm happy I'm yeah, off yeah. camera because I'll have to go check on the children every once in a while. Right, yeah, you, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You do what you got to do. We like to say we appreciate you jumping on here. Uh, a pillar of the community for sure. And uh, and you put out some great work and some fantastic interviews. The one with Alex was really good too. So there you go. Appreciate it. Oh, dude, it was Wait, awesome. That might not have been. That might not have been C money. <laughs> Oh saying, no! The, 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 the earlier the C, yeah, yeah, that's not that's not DC money. No, I think that's oh, just. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. he was like. I don't know who that is. Up. Okay, and that might or might not Far-Q, be. Is but that that's, you? A little, that's something. <laughs> Could be Farq. <laughs> he is notorious for coming up with yeah. interesting things. Yeah, he's but, like, I got know, you. Know. I'm trying to throw Farq under the bus. But uh, got but, yeah, me. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, well, if anything, C money and them got some promotion out of it. <laughs> so there yes. you go. Right, Congratulations go, to go. them. Either way, I said it last night and I'll say it again today. Like that's that's a huge amount of growth in a very short period of time. So, so did you want to uh, so. uh, play some of these? Uh, the, you get a couple of things. Yeah, sure. Uh, Pick out one yeah, one. I'm kind of curious, like everyone's opinions on this game. Uh, I think the first one was uh, Marvel Rivals, which is the six v six Overwatch style hero shooter fighter that's definitely ripping off overwatch if you played overwatch i have over 2000 hours of overwatch if you've ever played overwatch uh you can see this is a pretty blatant ripoff but i don't know if i care i'm kind of i need something good on the superhero side so uh sorry i might have sent you the xbox era link if you go down there's actually the uh uh, thing is in it yeah my bad sorry i must sent you the wrong link Yeah, we can hear it. Good. You'll need a top-notch team to win this one. Pick your hero. Get ready. Go! The Light of Ashanti Strange is here. 
I could have done without that real quick? voice, though. Yeah. <laughs> yes. so, One and a half frames per second. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry so about ideally, that, guys. yeah. So I went and watched it for myself while that was happening because I was listening to it and I was just like, there's no way I hate the sound design that much. <laughs> and I went to it, and of course, there's music on the actual one, right? So it yeah. kind of hides the sound design, but if you listen closely, you still kind of get that, uh, in my opinion, very generic -y sound design where it doesn't really feel impactful. Like, even okay. like on the attacks and also just the way that they communicate, it is... Like, I understand you're trying to hit an audience, right? You're trying to hit a large mm -hmm. audience. But you're not really hitting me as their superheroes as much as you're hitting me with, like, fairy tale sounding individuals that seemingly just, like, are mythical. I don't know. Like, it just doesn't... It just doesn't I kinda, sound I know what, I kind of know what you're okay. saying. First of all, the voice right off the rip, I was like, oh, that is like nails on a chalkboard. Um, I didn't, it, it was almost like, like a bad anime, you know what I mean? Like opening scene or something like that. I don't know. But I, I am interested in this game because I am a full fan of Over, Overwatch. I disagree with the person who says this doesn't look like Overwatch. I don't think you've played enough because the level is almost one for one, an Overwatch level. Um, and, and the premise of Overwatch is now 5v5. Five, 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 five. Um, with, with people with superpowers, but okay. Um, I don't know. I, I, I think it's interesting. It could be another miss that we've had a, plenty of superhero games that have, have not really panned out too well. Uh, G General Spartan, is this something that interests yeah. you? Or do you like, or do you, do you not care about this at all? Does it look like doo-doo to you? I would not play it because mainly I played Overwatch on PS4. Uh, yeah. But as for Marvel Rivals... I just don't seem interested at all whatsoever. I mean, yeah, you have the Mar you have the Marvel as Marvel as Marvel as a zeitgeist, but sure. some of the character, like some of the characters, like majority of them, everyone knows. But there are some in that in that game that people don't know, like those like casuals who only watch just MCU, like uh, mm. characters, characters Magic and Luna Snow. I think they're both X Men. I'm, I think, but uh, like everyone knows, Groot, Doctor Strange, Iron Man, Loki, but no one knows like those other minor characters. And I don't think it's going to generate as much interest as people think. But yeah, you, you could be right. I, I, I'm definitely feeling a lot of negativity on this game from a <laughs> bunch of people. I feel like I'm on an island by myself because I feel like I'm the only one who actually is might be interested in this, but. You guys are making a lot of good, kind of valid points of why this might not hit. It's, it's just it's, respect, you know. man. It, to me, yeah. at the end of the day, it's just respect. And when I see 
a game like this, it looks like, hey, there could be some fun to be had. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying, hey, this game is garbage. Don't ever play this. Don't, you know, don't turn it on. I'm not that kind of per- person at all because I don't know what other people's tastes are in gaming. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to tell somebody not to play a game. But at the same time, when I see something like this and then I see an overwhelmingly negative kind of sentiment towards it, yeah. I kind of get it because it's like, when you look at these superheroes and stuff like that, you expect like, like edginess or like some sort of like badassness to it. I hear and it, you. And it felt very <laughs> like, like a. It was like watching like a powder puff football game, essentially. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the powder puff version of the superheroes are supposed to be edgy, and that was just, I, I could, I, I. It was like that. watching those goofy football games that you would see after the after the um uh what are those things they have in high school and stuff like that after the pep rallies and yeah. stuff like that all the guys are dressed like cheerleaders and all the <laughs> like, like football players and you watch cheerleaders play football and it's like you're clapping but it's really hard to watch. You're right. Yeah. It's like one really. of those kind of things. I hear you. Jigga J, what what say you? Does the game interest you at all, or do you think it sucks balls like Xbox Game Pass only bitch said just said? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna back you up a little bit, Retro. Yeah, I think it looks interesting. Oh my god! Okay, it's, it all depends it. on how it comes out, but I gotta agree with with Solo too on the sound design a little bit. I do too. I, mean, I definitely agree with that. It's gotta sound a little bit better than that. And if you want some edginess, you know, this game needs to have Gambit in it, man. I, I need me some Gambit in this game, and then maybe I'll be even more interested. Yeah, was Gambit not in the trailer? I didn't yeah, see Yeah, you're him. right. I don't think he was. I yeah. yeah. I would have liked Gambit. So, yeah. It's good. Throw Gambit in there. Throw uh, the Phoenix in there. You know, and, you know, then, then you got mm. me no matter what. But um, it does look interesting. I'm, I'm going to do a wait and see approach on to see how it actually comes out. <laughs> I feel like that's a safe, I feel like that's a safe approach. I feel like I'm a lot of people are going to do that. I'm PVE game where I'm able to work with others and kill Sentinels in like a stronghold raid or something That'd like that. Cool. Like, I think yeah. that would be dope. But like instead mm. we keep making these weird service games that try to just, I don't you know, know. Yeah. they don't really give Dude. you anything to want to a for they're gonna yeah this is this thing is gonna be filled with all kinds of skins it's gonna try i think it's gonna try to be Fortnite because you get all these marvel characters and they get switch up their skins constantly i'm gonna cost ten dollars a piece so i could see this being egregious on on the uh on the mtx front uh, i i do have a feeling about that that is coming but can't get it be dope too if you can combine their powers um that would be nice like i don't yeah, know yeah a little combo time. Yeah, like X Men '97. Yeah. You see where um, Gambit infused um, Wolverine's claws, and then they're fighting Sentinels. So I'm like, hey, that would be kind of cool. Like, kind of like they do with Marvel's mm. Ultimate Alliance. You know, like some combo powers working together against something. I you know, do that like that too. idea, Jiga. Yeah, I'm talking and Marvel '97, which- freaking like uh, Empire State Building tall Sentinels out there. And yeah. You gotta team up with your crew. Like that'd be dope. Why the hell not? Yeah. And they can throw Wolverine in there, and he can climb up the Sentinel, and you know, chop the heads off or whatever. And I don't know. <laughs> it needs to uh, be a little bit of style. I love it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down for all that. Hopefully, hopefully, it's not going to be like an M- MTX horror game. I kind of have a bad feeling on that side. It will be, but uh, time will tell. I don't know when the hell that this game was supposed to come out. Uh, in case you didn't know, there's probably a lot of people not interested in this game because it is PC only for now. It's uh, coming out on Steam and Epic only, I guess. Um, so console version, I don't know. Maybe they're going to see if it's successful on PC, and if it's not, I don't know. Maybe they'll never see console at all. I'm not. I'm not quite sure, but uh, probably should have started with that. My bad, guys. It is PC. Well, that sucks. Only. <laughs> yeah, that, so, that means I can yeah. only play it on my rod right now. I don't have like a gaming PC besides the rod, so yeah, yeah. might have to it's wait for the Xbox. Xbox handheld. Yeah, <laughs> uh, then it solves all your problems, right? You can play any PC game you want on the future of Xbox. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, Dave, does, is is this something you're interested in at all? Or did he leave me? Hold on, did he leave? Oh, he, he said, had to step right, away. Yeah, he said had to step away. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. I 
I think it's so, sometimes I think maybe I, I give too too much credit to some of these games too because I'm always like, oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. Um, except for Rise of Ronin. When I saw that the second time, I was like, oh, shit, what happened to Rise of Ronin? Um, but anyways, uh, we also got uh, PS5 devs saying that the PS5 Pro is an unnecessary device, an unnecessary upgrade. I want to get people's real opinions. I know like this is an Xbox centric podcast, so it's easy to sh sit here and say, um, we don't believe uh, PS5 Pro should exist, especially this year, four years into the generation. Uh, but I'll go around asking you guys what you think about a possible PS5 Pro. Do you think it should exist? Or do you think devs just need to step up and work with the tools that they already have with the PS5 uh, that came in 2020. I'll start with you, General Spartan. What do you think about the PS5 Pro? Do you think it should exist? Do you agree with devs that maybe it shouldn't even, you know, be a thing this year? Uh, no. As in, <laughs> <laughs> there's no reason that they even need a PS5 Pro. We have not even tapped into the full power of what this console can do. I mean, if I want to say what may have been a snippet of what the system could do would probably be the uh, Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores DLC since it's PS5 only and not on mm -hmm. PS4. I mean, it looked great, but oh my goodness, this story was boring. Um, but uh, what I, I say, you, they, the developers just need to tap more of the, of the base console because... Um, they just, it'd be exactly. just a waste of money on R&D trying to just say, like, y'all don't have the money, they don't have the credit money right now because if they didn't try to fight all those cases regarding the ABK, they would still probably have just a little speck of money left. But with all the lawsuits they're going to have coming at them real yeah. soon, uh, they need to be worried about their, uh, about, less about trying to make a new system and try to work on what they got. Like, oh, yeah, look, look, look in the house. Yeah. Very, like some like, first party games. <laughs> yeah. Like some first party games, not like third party deals just because it says PlayStation studios. Cause it's studios. You don't have, let's see. Hell divers too. You don't own Air arrowhead studios. Rise of run. You don't own team ninja. Stellar blade. You don't own shift mm. up the next. And we don't know what, uh, Concord's gonna be. All I saw was a jiggling cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, <laughs> it's the jiggly cheeseburger. It kills me. Yummy. Uh, oh man. And then Fear Games. What a payday knockoff. I mean, Jade. Ray I mean, the fact that they forced Jade Raymond, who's probably one of the best creators <laughs> in this entire industry, to make a game like that, just shows how fucked up of a situation that Sony is in. That Jim Ryan put them in. But yeah, I mean, live, live service here, live service there. Now you're canceling game after game after game after game. And now you did all that money hatting. And now where it's got you, because, yeah, you don't have that Call of Duty money anymore. And furthermore, uh, when I say, like, what's the best graphical game I've seen so far, like of what's to come, Hellblade 2. That's the best thing I've yeah. seen so far. I've seen, and that's just previews. I can only imagine what's going to look up on my TV when I play it on Game Pass in two months. So, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, when to be honest, when Microsoft, when Xbox starts launching all these first party games in a cadence, like in an all out cadence, like, uh, I, by the way, have y'all seen Doom Part 2? Because this is the setup. Uh, I'm actually seeing, I'm watching it tomorrow. So don't say, don't spoil okay. anything, but why? What's up? Okay, yeah, there's a scene in there where you'll get the drift. Let's just say it's a, it deals with a large explosion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, basically sim similar to what Microsoft's going to do to Sony as this generation wears on. <laughs> Fair enough. I like that. Uh, Ham Solo, what's your take on the whole PS5 Pro coming out this year do you think it should exist do you think there's a place for it do you think it'll sell well like what's your what's your two what's your uh, two cents on on uh the ps5 pro bro 
I think it'll sell fine, especially due to it coming out around the same time as the GTA uh, or GTA six. Exactly. Yeah. So it should sell really well just due to that. Um, but again, I'm going to circle right back to what I was saying earlier. And mm-hmm. I feel like a broken record at this point. Yeah. But what is repeat. PlayStation doing versus what Xbox is doing right now? And I have to say, Xbox is like, yo, we're kind of going to secede uh, a little bit in a way of just like saying, hey, we're console, we're console, we're console. And I think I feel like we're going to transition to more of being a PC platform in some sort of way. Yeah. Meanwhile, we have PlayStation chasing PC like a like like, like 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 a sandwich like on a stick in a string <laughs> in front of the hungriest bum. <laughs> right you know what i'm saying so like that, 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 that's what i'm saying like it's cool like i am a fan of tech i yeah, love me same. some tech so when sure. the new playstation comes out although i don't feel like i need one there will be some part some, some part of me that kind of wants one you know what right. i'm saying just yeah. because i I'm, I'm kind of a tech slut a little bit yeah when it comes to that kind of stuff i love me some tech. i hear that yeah, 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 yeah. No diddy, no diddy, no diddy. But uh, anyways, um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, um, but uh, I definitely do want to see how that goes. But as I yeah. just got been saying, um, it really seems like these all these consoles are doing, and the reason these mid gen refreshes are coming out and stuff like that is because they're chasing the PC. The PC is having a hard time dealing with some of these games. Look at Dragon's Dogma right now. Anytime you yeah. walk into the city. Like, yep. like, like that. It's just tragic, right? So, like, it's really bad right now. Yeah. And seeing that, I, and, and then last last week going to PAX, one of the things I was talking to, it, it almost seemed like it came up every single time I talked to a developer, especially when I when it came to asking them, "Hey, what platforms are you guys dropping on?" Mm. A lot of them would be like, um, "Now we plan on dropping on PlayStation and Xbox, or PlayStation and Nintendo, or." nintendo and mobile or whatever right but um um for the most part all of them pretty much said although we're working on those platforms we intend to drop on steam in pc first because that's where they feel like they're gonna get the most success from the start and what happens (laughs) And and, that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, and if Xbox can somehow turn their brand into just flat out PC, which keep in mind that's what they wanted to do ever since the beginning of them coming into the console market. Yep. They the whole point of them was saying, "Hey, Sony, you're not taking PC away from Microsoft. Microsoft is PC. PC is Microsoft." And they came in and said, "Oh, we'll play your little game for a little while." And now look at how they kind of changed the tra- trajectory of gaming to the point where you now have PlayStation saying, Oh crap, <laughs> this VR ain't working on our console. We got to put it on PC. Yep. We got to put our games on PC. We got to mm-hmm. share with PC more and more and more. And, and Xbox is just saying, come on home, baby. Come yeah. on home. <laughs> come so I, so it, I, I just find it really interesting, but I'm more or less, interested in what playstation has in store i'm actually more interested in what they have in store after the pro than i am in the pro itself because the pro is kind of like in my opinion kind of a last ditch effort of this generation although there hasn't been a whole lot of software this generation i feel like i mean Mm -hmm. look if, if you look at this year for sony if they were to drop a pro they have again Second year in a row dropped more hardware than they dropped software. That's, that's wild. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. It, it, it's crazy statistic. Like, that should never happen. Uh, yeah, for a game publisher. Uh, yeah, I, I, have to, I have to agree with you, Solo. I also like tech. But I, I'm going to I'm going to skip this one. I'm not getting it. I don't, I don't know if I care what's under the hood necessarily. If there's any I, AI or the PSSR that they're talking about for up technology. I don't know if I care. I, I feel like it's it's kind of giving them money when they shouldn't have it. When, when we have these devs that are not um, using the PS5 to its full capability. Um, 
but I get the tech side. Like, uh, I, I hear you. Uh, Jay Jigga, what do you think about the PS5 Pro? Do you think uh, it should exist in, in 2024? Is this something you're interested in getting? Or what's your, what's your whole piece about this? Well, let's be real, man. The PS5 is dog shit. So Sony needs to bring this out because this is what the PS5 wow. should have been in the first place. I mean, the PS5 is <laughs> a lot of people say that. ugly yeah. bitch. It's over-engineered. It's it's terrible. So to me, they need they need a redo. They need a refresh just for that reason. Xbox doesn't need a refresh. I don't really like mid-gen refreshes. It shouldn't be needed, but they need it because this is what it should have been in the first fucking place. But beyond that, though, they have no games for the damn thing. So it really doesn't really make sense, except for they got the mind share, right? So if GTA comes out, at the same, you know, comes out and and then they can say that it's better on PS5 Pro. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna make some sales and some money from that, unfortunately, because most people are not in the know. They're just gonna be like, "Hey, GTA's out. It was a shiny new PlayStation. Let me go ahead and get that." Even though the shit fucking sucks. I mean, at first when I saw the specs, I was like, "Okay, that looks kind of decent," but they didn't upgrade. They upgraded teraflops, but didn't upgrade like the CPU or GPU. So it's and it was like ten percent better, something like that. I'm not the best at um at talking tech, but it doesn't seem mm-hmm. really necessary. So, um, I don't think it really should have existed, but they needed to exist because they had to do a redo for the first one. Yeah, I know. It's it sounds like it, they're making something that was promised to you four years ago, so they can actually hit 4K 60 across right. the board, uh, which sucks like i i don't this is why i you know i don't i don't trust xbox i don't trust playstation i don't trust any of these hardware manufacturers tv manufacturers none of them when it comes to the specs that they say you know everything's gonna hit we saw aaron greenberg said the same damn thing and people put him through the fire that 4k 60 was going to be the standard this is why you got to really watch what you're saying in marketing and pr because internet's forever when you say that shit they're gonna you you're gonna you know PlayStation guys are going to use what uh, Aaron said for years. You know what I mean? So, isn't that all like the wait too? Like, didn't I like they already the wait and see it? approach? Yeah, didn't what? they already say it's not going to it's not going to hit 4K 60 either. Well, for well, they're saying for GTA. I know, like uh, Digital Foundry said, they don't believe even the PS5 Pro will get GTA uh, 6 up to 4K 60. Could could be right. I I don't know. The thing is, is we got to kind of see what is happening with the PSSR. I think that's what it's called. Uh, the proprietary uh, up upscaling resolution thing that they're going to be doing on their system that might help, maybe. But the CPU only being ten percent, you know, above what it is now, I, I just don't know if it gets there. And I, I just don't know if if Rockstar bothers to take the chance of it not running flawlessly. Like I think they'd rather just have it running at four K you know, thirty or even upscaled four K and call it a day. So because they don't want to be they don't want to be the cyberpunk when it when it comes out. They sure shit don't want that. Everyone's going to buy it anyways. But um, what's up, C-Money? I think that's the real C-Money. That's this real time. C-Money. Let's go. <laughs> what's up, Not C-Mustard? the impersonator. Yeah, your brother uh, C-Mint was running C- around here doing something. Yeah, there was a C-Mint out Mustard. here. I was congratulating you guys on getting a 20K, and it wasn't even yeah, the right yeah, person. They, they so. had on point and everything on there. They... Yeah. But congratulations, yeah. C-Money, for real. And hopefully we'll get uh, uh, you and do it along soon. So, but, uh, but yeah. Oh, at, uh what what a great uh, podcast and stuff that they're doing and like we're real let's, Rich, you will say it again about your coverage that you did uh really helped grow your channel and now that I thought was fantastic so yeah absolutely yeah you guys are killing it at uh at PAX East and I also I saw man Ham Solo I was actually I was watching a lot of you there man you mm-hmm. had a fucking smile on your you f- it felt like a kid at Disneyland. You just seem to be having <laughs> the best damn time at PAX East, like to the point where I was like, man, I got to go. I got to go next time. Like you just you had a great time. It sounds like, man, how, how was PAX East? Oh, I was turned all the way up like the whole time. It was phenomenal. I, could um, tell. I was on 10. Um, I was meeting up with developers and just, you know, just kicking it with them, chatting with them, sharing emails following each other on like you know 
Twitter and shit like that. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I actually ended up getting to watch some behind the scenes kind of footage with the Dune folks, which they were super duper nice with me and whatnot. And yeah, I can't wait to uh, holler at Tomas some more uh, because me and him were doing a little (laughs) chatting behind the scenes. Um, (laughs) Oh, man, see money and mint are going at it right now i'm low but anyways, <laughs> uh, but anyways uh yeah i was just must like here too so. I, I, I was just having a blast i literally worked until i had to take an uber to the airport from pat so like Yo, i was in, in, in the in like each day i was working from literally the time that they opened all the way up until they started closing up shop and everything and just hanging out with Damn. everybody and whatnot it was it was a good time. I met a lot of really cool people. I got several videos that I need to work on. I'm just letting, I'm just making sure I get my stuff taken care of with uh, uh, the lordsgaming.net and whatnot for the Iron Lords and stuff like that first mm-hmm. before I take care of my stuff. Just out of respect, I want to make sure that they're sure. good to go, and I don't want to be like posting the exact same videos and stuff like that. Right. I want to, yeah, no, yeah. I want to have a little bit of flavor with it. I don't want to be boring and lame and you know you they, they share the video and then i share the exact same thing and, and it, <laughs> yeah. it just looks cheesy and whatnot so so i definitely got some other footage and whatnot that i'm gonna be sharing to my channel so, uh nice. some as to where you can kind of feel how just excited and fun um, nice i was having that entire time yeah yeah, dude, I could, I could tell i was living vicariously through you i was like man he just like smiling like like i'm at pax east. like is that the first time you've been at pax east or is that have you been before uh no that was that was my first time i ever been to anything any modern. event oh that, okay because i've been to a retro uh convention and i've been to like some smaller things like at game stores in like my town and stuff like right that. yeah but, yeah but i've never been to anything that was like modern and like large and you need to go to a big city to to go see and whatnot so so being able to go to boston and you know you know be able to meet people like Snowbike mike and mm-hmm. see miles don pierre just just randomly walk by me on the floor and i'm like hey miles like like, like you know like yeah. just seeing that type of stuff happening walking around with uh king david watching lord cog get you know get his you know suit and tie on get his corporate cog on <laughs> like watching all that stuff go down and, you know, hanging out with Lemon, having Lemon hold the camera for me for certain things. And, you know, mm-hmm. it was just like the engagement between all of us there were like we knew each other for a long time, like in person. And then right. on top of that, it was just like a family setting where everybody was on that same shit. Nobody was on no no Twitter BS or mm-hmm. any of that. Everybody was just happy to see gaming. I ran into one dude that was like a huge Tekken fan and I was talking to him. He was a big PlayStation guy. The his best friend played on play, played Tekken, but he played on PC and I play on Xbox. And we're just talking right. about like how we go through it and you know what we do and who our favorite characters are. And there is no disrespect between mm. any of these console stuff and, and whatnot. So when I come back from town and I see people like you know, throwing themselves in front of trains and buses and whatnot, trying to save they the the, the, the the integrity of something that they ain't getting paid from. I'm just like, I ain't got no time for this. Like, I'm yeah. just gonna, I'm just gonna mind my business and go do some editing or go like I, like I already beat Dragon's Dogma. I already beat that game. I already mm-hmm. beat because I'm minding my business and playing games. I ain't in here in the street stuff. Yep. Working. I'm doing both solo. I'm I got over 50 hours in that game and I'm talking shit. Uh, oh, I can juggle. <laughs> yes, yeah, I gotta get some sleep, man. You trying to stay up. Yeah. Uh you are right. I was up till seven o'clock in the morning last night, and Out I can't mind. do that at my age, dude. Uh it's it's too much. Not it's I it's not I've literally gotten sick playing Dragon's Dogma. No, no joke, like multiple times because I I can't I've been staying up so late that it's it's kicking my ass. Uh, I don't suggest doing that. I'm not in my 20s, 20s anymore. I, I can't do that shit, but I keep doing it because I'm an idiot. But No, uh, but <laughs> I just have to say, like, if you haven't, you guys, like, everybody needs to experience that kind of stuff, whether it's PAX oh, yeah. or Summer Game Fest or mm-hmm. whatever. Like, 
go out and meet these actual people in real life. Like I actually ran into Jay Barry in persona. Um, oh, nice. hanging out with yeah, King, cool. and we went out to a bar, and that. they just <laughs> happened to be there and whatnot. And whatever beef we had previously got thrown to the side. Jay Barry yeah. bought me a shot. We're kicking it, drinking. We're still BSing about games, right, but it's right. But it's in a fun environment. Like nobody's like at each other's throats or anything. Mm-hmm. About it. So it was it was cool. That's Very awesome, cool. man. I'm glad you had a good time, Dave. You want to? Uh... Tell us what this is about. I just, I just thought I'd kind of show that up there. I will, I think we'll probably hit one more topic after this, and then we'll wrap, wrap yeah. things up. Uh, but, um, but yeah, that thought this was this was kind of cool. Um, Sarah put this out um, on her. Uh, so, so great to speaking to uh, Team Xbox. Uh, then a lot of speculation started jumping around, thinking, "Oh, is she filming for a show? Is she doing this? And this is all like recorded video and stuff." But if they have an internal memo type thing, that's a video presentation to the. That's what I was staff, wondering too. I believe that's I, is probably what it okay. is. Okay, mm-hmm. I was one of those people, uh, you know, maybe flame in the smoke here, where the maybe maybe there's no fire, or maybe no no smoke, because I was like, why would you do? A, a video presentation for team xbox but then i was like yeah maybe you would do like an internal well, there's so many people there's a lot of employees, a lot of employees. Right? Maybe, it's not like everybody's the there update they were talking about i don't well, i think it's too thing. early that's... for that to be honest with you i think yeah, it's I way know. too early for that i do because well look at the board back behind it it's all Same. whited out all blocked out this could be a lot of plan to action a call to action for the team members um, I just think it's I, I personally I, maybe I'm wrong, but I yeah, I believe maybe. it's too early. I think I think they usually shoot that thing like a month out, two months out at the at the earliest and then edit it together and then have it good to go. But I, I this is a lot of work for a team to call. Yeah, I know. Well, well, and, and it's it Microsoft is, and they have yeah, a three trillion dollar company and and true. they're all about the team's calls, if you know what I mean. Got to keep them all on the same page. Yeah, I, this I is my, my call. I yeah, I mean, saying, you're, but, you're uh, probably you're probably right. I'm probably looking too much into this, but mm-hmm. my spidey sense was going off, and I'm like, well, well, of why is she po- like, why is she posting this? Like, I always look too far into this shit. I'm disappointed 99 percent of the time because it's usually absolutely nothing. Um, and, and the thing you know. just said, why is she posting this? Because of this. <laughs> what are we uh, talking about? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's fair. Fair enough. Good marketing, Sarah. You got me. 007. She's um, good. Yeah, oh, I. It was the chat. <laughs> Here it is. Here he is. Uh, Mr. Dark with the $5 says, I can't wait to hear how you played Resident Evil Co. Veronica remake till 7 a.m. Retry. Hey, Web Dave and Ham Solo. Listen, <laughs> as much shit as I talk about that game, you know, you know, I'm, if it's a remake, uh, you know, Capcom don't miss. So I'm going to definitely play it. Uh, it'll probably be better than the first Code Veronica, which was doo doo. Just kidding. Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. all the other ones are heard great, of man. Except for that a, one. Yeah, I know. I, I listen, it's, a thing, a it's a thing between me and Dark. Uh, he knows I don't mean it. I, are you kidding me? I'll, I'll absolutely play Cold Veronica. Uh, but shout out, shout out to you, Dark. Uh, hope you're, hope you're feeling better. I know he's under the weather. So, um, one more subject, Gregory. What do you want to cover? Uh, that's Little a great question. The, um, maybe, well, Jez did this little. Uh, update today about the automated moderation system on Xbox. So I thought Ooh, that okay. might be a, a good little tidbit of information for people to know if they didn't know this. It's a little weird. Xbox's automated moderation system, uh, automated being the key word here, are, he says, are pathetic and need to be scrapped. He says, we pay for this. Uh, Microsoft has fired thousands of customer service employees in recent years and replaced them with AI says, over the past few weeks, it feels like I've received an uptick of Xbox customers reaching out to me either via email or direct message to help them overcome unfair bans. So people are getting banned by this automated system that is obviously looking for um, some keywords. Um, and some of these keywords are odd uh, that people are getting banned for. He said, I wondered if it was a coinc- uh, coincidence, but I've also seen an uptick in the topic across social media as well, making me realize that Xbox has a ticking time bomb on its hands. It says, when you sign up for an Xbox, for the Xbox services on Series X and S, or indeed on any uh, online gaming services, you sign a ter- uh, TOS, a Terms of Service Agreement, which essentially denies 
you any rights to content you've purchased, even if you buy a game from any of these platforms, whether it's on Xbox or not, you don't actually own anything. You own a license to rent the item in question in perpetuity, or at least until Apple, Google, PlayStation, Microsoft, whoever decides you no longer deserve it. Um, how do they decide whether or not you deserve access to the content you've purchased? Well, increasingly, uh, these companies are using artificial intelligence, and increasingly we're seeing an uptick in unfair banned practices when users left with absolutely no real path to appeal. He says this is not acceptable. Um, there was, I'm trying to find where the example was, because this is a long article, um, but somebody was banned recently for using some jargon, uh, some some in-game language that comes from Final Fantasy. Maybe you guys will know this in the chat. I'm sure you guys saw it. It was, it was all over Twitter. Um, that is like normal talk. Uh, where the hell was it? I can't, I don't think I can find it. Basically... There, a person got shadow banned for using some language that is used all the time in Final Fantasy um, that almost sounded like he was soliciting sexy time work. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I wish I, that's it. Thank you. Thank, I'm so glad. Thank, thank God, because I'm sitting here on the vine. I'm going, where the fuck is it? Uh, the saying with free company. So the just using the words free company got him banned from the automated system uh so i thought this was an interesting discussion it's you know i i'm a i'm an advocate uh for ai i think i think it's gonna do a lot of good in the in gaming but i wanted to talk about the other side of ai and this is definitely one of those other sides where you're like what the, <laughs> exactly only an only fans account um so i'll go to uh, you guys what do you think of this these automated systems uh general spartan um, possibly like banning people for saying something like free free company what, what's, well, your, what's, your, what's your take well uh, I, I didn't know that you could do that because i mean it's not like being on twitter and every almost every other uh, thread you go into, it's someone saying uh, "see news and bio." Yeah, but, that's a good point. <laughs> but um, I mean, I think what's happening. I think Microsoft want to try to protect themselves from say uh, people because, like, in the old back like in the getting sued. PS3, yeah, from from lawsuits. someone that was harassed or something. Yeah, yeah, for harassment because in the old like in the Wild West days, on 360, 360 PS3, days. Oh, those lobbies, baby! Holy God. those lobbies on COD, on COD Four <laughs> and Modern Warfare Two, and how yeah. absolutely bad shit they were. Because <laughs> I mean, I mean, I got it, it was crazy when I was playing Modern Warfare Two back in twenty ten when uh, someone would call me a uh, let's just say homo. Let's just say a homophobic slur, slap, yeah. uh, slur for black folks, back to yep. back, and that, and yeah, so it and that was on PS3 because probably that person probably got their account banned on 360, but mm. you never know. But uh, pretty much, I think what's happened is Microsoft wants to protect themselves from harassment in case someone commits suicide because of that harassment. And they, I mean, it makes sense. And they just want to make sure it's like they're not at fault. So I think what they want to do is like, yeah, if someone's trying to say this offensive stuff, this offensive stuff, it's like, our, like younger generations are not built like how we were, like how. <laughs> and That's what I say. We say that all the time, General. Like you, we uh, one thing we like to say is you wouldn't survive uh, the 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 lobbies back in the day. Because to to your point, it was f word this. Like they were, I mean, it's better way better today because i remember back in the lobbies there would always be that one guy who's just yelling into the mic and there'll be another guy who's just saying the n-word constantly like yeah. just over and over and over again for like literally 30 minutes like or just, just say, the shit or just saying absolutely just either racist or extremely you had to have thick skin back in the day bro yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. there was no report this audio no button way. There was none of that. There was, uh, I'm just going to turn down my mic or I'm just going to block this person or I'm a mute. A this. lot of blocking. Like, 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 like the best you could do is mute them. 
That's yeah. what I, yeah, you'd have to go into the lobby real quick and mute a bunch of people like real fast in, in those oh, lobbies. But and it, I mean, it was even bad when I was playing Rainbow Six Vegas 2 back in the day on PS3, even though the game ran like dog shit on PS3. But I had that game beaten on Elite, though. Um, but yeah, people were just like, just in case, like, say this or this or this, they just say some offensive stuff and then kick you from the game. So it's like, yeah. Oh, I yeah. remember Call of Duty proximity chat after you killed them. Oh, proximity chat. <laughs> Dude, that was <laughs> I vicious. That like people would have chat. their comment locked and loaded before yes. they even got to you. Yeah. Hey, 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 Ham. You know, like how some like some squeaker who's not even supposed to be playing the game all of a sudden says some offensive stuff. <laughs> and you already take him out multiple times in the game. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. That I mean, people thought teabagging was bad, bruh. Proximity chat was lit. Was, yeah, <laughs> I agree. Ham, Ham, what's your what's your two cents? I know there's a lot of discourse going on right now uh, about s someone. Someone made a comment. I'm not gonna say who. Someone made a comment on Twitter about uh, like lobbies back in the day and today, and people saying inappropriate things. I know there's a lot of like there's a lot of hate going on around in the community about this kind of sort of thing. But what do you think about this whole like automation side of someone, someone basically getting banned for, for free company? Uh, what's your, what's your two cents on this whole thing? Um, I, I understand they want to make it automated to save on costs of like hiring people to like monitor this kind of stuff. That would be whatnot. crazy. To, yeah, to, because it's just yeah, like it's so it's much, much information. Like the first hour yeah. you open up, and then half the time it's just like a bunch of like not even anything to like to, to even get somebody in trouble for. It's just somebody being mad after a bad match. Or something. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> um, but there is for sure them times where like there are for sure them times a lot where people are just over the top, uncomfortable, oh, ridiculous. Yeah trying to figure out how they can spell the word appropriate for the game to <laughs> recognize it and be able yeah. to put it out there without them actually, you know, saying Flagging the thing it. because it'll be censored or something right. like that. Rocket League is 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 synonymous for, 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 for stuff like that. You, you find the right way to say something, you could write a book in that thing and just be <laughs> absolutely disrespectful. But, um, but yeah, there needs to be something out there, but we're... I mean, we have to accept the times that we're kind of in right now and just hope that the companies themselves kind of have some sort of sense of accountability when they make a wrong step or when mm. they like ban somebody accidentally or something like that. Like, like I've seen things besides just like reporting things where people would like lose access to their account because they got hacked or something like that. Right. And like yep. Microsoft or Sony or something would just make them go through this huge rigmarole when they can literally just like yep. ask something simple or have them go through some sort of, you know, two step verification just to authenticate, Hey, this is me and I yeah. can prove it this, th this way in a third or whatever. Um, Mm -hmm. So they, they do need to have better back end on that. But in all actuality, like what we don't notice a lot as people or customers is 90% of the time, especially in products nowadays, since most of them are digital, we're running, we're, 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 uh, we're beta testers, although that we, purchase. <laughs> right. although we purchase it, we're still beta testers. So, like, yeah. you look at your game that comes out, like, 99% of the time. There's still updates and everything to it. When you talk to developers, half the time they're like, we never want this game to be finished, right? So, like, the game isn't was never finished in the first place, and it probably isn't going to be finished when they say they're finished with it. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, uh, like it or not, like, if you enjoy gaming, you're a beta tester. Yeah, you're the product. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the world we're living in. Yeah, I mean, I I know someone said, like, you know, the AI doesn't have, like, a sarcasm detector. <laughs> that's true. Like, that's the only thing that, that it, it worries me if it's one thing to get banned from someone who you were talking to who didn't like what you were saying. It's another thing for a system uh, to cancel me, which will probably happen to me one day because I talk a lot of shit when we're playing Call of Duty or, or whatever. Um I'm worried that 
the the system's just gonna say you said something nasty and it's like my best friend you know what i mean because i'm always fucking with those guys so i'm i worry about a future where i'm gonna get canceled uh because <laughs> the ai is like nope i don't like that but jiga what do you what do you think about this whole uh automated moderation system that xbox has i mean i know it's necessary to, to solo's point it has it cannot be people it, it cannot that is a job that cannot be done by uh it's just an astronomical amount of data coming in but uh what's your two cents on this this whole uh you know automation thing and people getting banned for for saying things that seem okay really so i, I just heard about this when you brought it up so um my question is is this for voice chat or just for like game chat? This uh, it AI moderation. Sound? Uh, that's a great question. Honestly, it sounded like he might have. Th at least the latest thing, it sounded like the guy typed it. Um, so, so I don't know if it's both. Solo, Dave, do you guys know if it's doing audio as well? I I know you can report. Like I know people can report other people if they recorded it and send it in. But I don't know if the AI is essentially listening because I would be like, you know, I would be like a device that's constantly listening to you. And I'm not, I'm not sure that would, I'm not sure that would fly. So oh, I, don't I don't maybe, know. Maybe, I don't yeah, know that part in particular. That I, that I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this guy typed it, typed it in somewhere. And that's what flagged the system uh, to look at the text itself. Um, okay. Okay. But so yeah. in that in that case, then um, they do need moderation. I, I don't know about the whole AI thing. Um, obviously, it would need to be improved if it can ban people off of saying regular sentences and words. The the main problem with that is you said it's not a back end help for people that get banned, you know, unfairly. And I think that's the worst problem with it. Yeah, the appeal process anybody. is Agreed. a bitch. Well, you can you can do like an appeal, but from what I've heard from because this has been happening a, a lot in the last year, uh, apparently it's a it's a, it's a nightmare a little bit for for some people. So the appeal process is not great. Um, so it sounds like like okay. Solo was saying they need to improve on on the on the appeal side. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait, Rick, what, 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 are your, uh, what are your final thoughts on that? I mean, I, I'm glad it exists. Like I saw a lot because I grew up in those lobbies and I know, I know what they were like for people of color and I, I know what they were like for women. And I'm just like, and it doesn't surprise me why people wouldn't want to go in, uh, and have a mic or, or chat on said mic because they've been fucking harassed to no end by some ass clown. Who's just there to really literally ruin, ruin your time. So I'm happy mm -hmm. that these types of things exist, but I do worry when it's automated because someone has to tell the automation system what to flag. If it's, if it's flagging stuff like, like as easy as, as, as what just got flagged, that's what worries me is, is them, uh, overstepping, I guess. And, and you know, again, like, you know, so saying like, we're kind of, we're the product, we're the beta testers for this stuff. They definitely got to work it out. They got to do better. I think on the appeal process, that's where they really got to do better. Cause this guy is going to get banned. If I get banned off of Xbox for three months, I'm going to lose my shit. Like I would be, I would be pretty pissed. I would have to go, maybe I could just go on the PC. I don't know, but, um, it, it's a good thing, but we got to be careful with, with what we're telling the AI to do as a person who's used a ton of AI. Um, you got to give it the right commands so you get the right output. And it sounds like maybe somebody, uh, screwed up here. Go ahead. Solo. Were you saying something solo? No, I saw my wife. Sorry. Uh, okay, no, you're good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with, with that, let's, uh, we're going to wrap things up. Um, uh, we are going to uh, send everybody over. Well, actually, I can't send them over, so I'm I'm going to do something yet. different. Yeah. But uh, well, actually, I reached out to him just a few minutes ago, and he doesn't know how to set it up. So I'll help All him. Right. This week. Well, he'll uh, learn today. He'll exactly, he'll learn the hard way. But uh, but yeah. that's no big deal. But we're gonna we're gonna actually um, uh, send you guys over to another show, uh, which is uh, a, a pretty good one. Um, uh, yes, it is uh, the the. Uh, PXC uh, podcast, um, and uh, which is a Fuzzy Belvedere and Three Bits show, and then they have a guest on tonight. They have on uh, 
uh, the 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 one and only K Asante and PTK nice. Blam. So amazing uh, oh, panel on their show. And um, so I'm getting ready. To, I'm going to put the the link in here in the description. So if people want to jump on over uh, to them uh, as we wrap things up, um, and then also uh, I'll I'll show them on screen too. But uh, but uh, let's go around the horn real quick, uh, General. Please tell everybody where they can uh, reach out to you on uh, Twitter and such, and uh, strike up a conversation with you, sir. Okay, I'm on. Tw- uh, I'm on Twitter. Well, you see my name, General Spartan, but I'm um, like you ever seen the movie Evolution? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my dignity of the uh, the three oh, dots yeah. body face. That's uh, you can find me there on Twitter. Um, I'm General Spartan uh, fifty six on PS five on Xbox uh, on Series X on uh, Gen Spartan fifty six. Jim Barton 56 and uh, otherwise uh, those are spots you can find me. Very nice. Very cool. Thanks for jumping on with us tonight, man. We're really glad you, I'm glad you did. See, wasn't, wasn't too bad. Mm-hmm. We didn't bite. Not too bad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but no, we do appreciate you being on ham solo dude. Thank you so much for jumping on and for, uh, for on this Easter Sunday and, uh, and, uh, yes, and, sir. and, 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 and thank your wife yourself. Yeah. Thank your wife. Too, and, and apologize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we really appreciate you, sir. Tell everybody where they can reach out to you, where they can find you on social medias, and of course your great show that you have. No, wife is in good spirits. She's uh, she had she had a good day. So um, good, good. The whole family had a good day. I can hear my daughter singing in the in the tub. Right so <laughs> I'm assuming everybody had a pretty good day. Um, yes, <clears throat> but yeah, um, thank you guys uh, for you know opening up your panel for people like me to just hop in real quick say my Absolutely. two cents of what I thought and everything like that. Um, I'm not sure if you guys seen it in the private chat at all, but I put uh, my link in there so you guys could share it in the uh, chat over there. If people want an easy way just to go on ahead and I click and come through and check out my channel, subscribe and whatnot, I'm going to be having all sorts of different you know people on behind them sticks in the near future. Hopefully I can get web Dave and Retree schedule sometime, oh, yeah. obviously sure. separately, but, um, but if you guys <laughs> have some time opened up, towards the end of april coming into may i definitely like to get you guys set up to get onto the show and do it live sure. on a thursday at 8 p.m eastern or something like that but that'd be dope um but 100%. yeah yeah there's a lot to look forward to tomorrow we got our show um the crossover podcast with me and k mega we're gonna be on there at um 1 30 the lord's time 2 30 eastern um and um yeah yeah you can check me out there i'll also be posting more stuff that i did out at pax and stuff like that here in the near future as i was saying just a little bit ago i just wanted to make sure i get my brothers over at iron lords and uh lords of gaming taken care of first because Mm -hmm. gotta treat people right in this industry gotta treat people right yeah Make sure you do that. But yeah, check your boy out, Ham Solo 05 Gaming on Twitter and then on uh, YouTube at um, TSWS Gaming as well. Mm-hmm. See it on my name right here. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Go follow Ham, guys. He's one of the good ones. There's he very few out here. He's definitely ones. one of the good ones. So give him a follow, please. Please, please do so. And uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll add uh, after the show. I'll I'll add uh, I'll add you into the description of this so people can uh, find you and the audio version as well too so you'll find you easier they'll be in the in the description below momentarily mm-hmm. after the show so uh, so yeah Jigger J buddy thank you so much for joining us this is awesome having you on man yeah man um, I appreciate it thank you so much for um, letting us come on and talk a little bit of shit and just be a little <laughs> part of the, the experience here um, I Absolutely. really appreciate it so. Um, I'm not really on Twitter much. I mean, Twitter X, whatever it is. Um, (laughs) I turned off notifications like a year ago, but I'm on there under uh, GigaJ1980, and then you can find me on Xbox under GigaJ, but Jigga with an H. Um, There you go. Check me out on there and and, um, fight me in Tekken. I love to beat people's asses on (laughs) that. He's calling you out. He's He's calling you out. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I, do, I too. won't mess with you on tech. But no, appreciate you guys day. jumping on tonight. It was awesome having having you on, and thanks to everybody for being here. Hopefully, I think next yeah. week, most likely, we're going to have Steam Money and Doodle on uh, the dynamic duo. But we will see, mm-hmm. and uh, I'll let everybody know uh, soon enough that uh, who's going to be on next week. It's going to be a, another great show. But Retri, you need to tell everybody. I'm going to put it right here so, where uh, your show is on Saturdays. Uh, they, yeah. never, they definitely need to jump on. And if they haven't seen uh, last week's show already, it's it's you can watch it on demand. So basically go to his channel yes, and sir. click on it and watch it now. It's a great show. It was a great panel. 
Yeah, we uh, are the Aim Down Sights podcast. We like shooters right now. All of our favorite game is Dragon's Dogma. The entire panel thinks that's game of the year. So, <laughs> didn't expect that to happen, but here we are. That's with Red Dead Panda and Next Gen Nero, my brothers and my sisters. Uh, we have a great time. That is Saturday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Game Pass Daily channel, guys. If you want to check it out, Dave just put it in there. We pass our thousand subscribers. We'll get members and all that stuff that will be coming up as soon as we get past our watch hours. You just got to put in the work, man. But I'm just happy to, to be here talking with everyone in the community and having like great guests and being able to allow community members to come up here and chop it up with us like Jigga and General Spartan over here. And we love Ham Solo. Of course, he's invited anytime. Uh, the door is wide open for anytime he wants to just jump on in. But thank you guys for coming out. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun. Sorry we had to boot that uh, play, PlayStation guy in the beginning. Uh, <laughs> but it happens. I, I, I tried well, to give him a chance. Was, I, I, dude, I was, I was, yeah. I was being nice. I was, I was Easter were. Sunday. I let him get away with a lot, um, but we had to snipe him. But you know, it, it is what it is. But uh, ha- I hope everyone has a happy Easter, man. I hope you had a good day. And if you don't, if you celebrate it or not, but uh, I love you guys uh, and have a good night and go play some games, man. Dragon's Dog. There you go. Likely. There you go. Yeah. Thanks you for joining us. I'll put one more link out there. Uh, that is the uh, the show. If you if you do click over and go and watch uh, Pixel Bit, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, the Three Bit. Anyway, uh, three yeah. bit and uh, and uh, Fuzzy Belvedere and um, uh, Chaos Sante is their guest as well as uh, PTK Blam. Uh, if, if you if you do jump over there, uh, tell them tell them you're you're rating them from us. <laughs> yeah, let them know we sent you. <laughs> exactly. Tell, tell them, them we said hi, and we we greatly appreciate you. But thanks to everybody for joining us here on the Gamers Council. <laughs>